the technology is truly new to humanity and the way that humanity in truth has a real sort of its own self the way it discovers and designs the technology is very intricate and personal alchemy or relationship or proof it is like like a as a tree falls it's very um sort of like uh, if you swirled a bunch of different colored paints and you slashed it, it would go and it would land in a very specific pattern and create this really great pattern. All I'm trying to say is that the truth is known and that humanity is experiencing its own enlightenment with its own technology. So what humans are saying with pixels and squares and circles and uh, electricity this is a very new type of revelation and so i just i i was what i watched the film that i had just released uh yesterday and i want to re-release it again because I, I i want it to be a little bit larger it was framed in a large black frame but also I want it to be larger so you you can see the graphics so you understand my facial expression because the truth is often told in these little minute boo -boo -boo, little hundreds of muscles in the face that are trying to describe what I'm saying and also when I watched the film I encountered a sort of uh, well all of humanity is dealing with a type of um, uh, <clears throat> you know, the, the lashing of the cat's tail, and the cat is kind of irritated about something. So there's a, something wrong in creation, and it's like humanity is digesting it, or trying to address it, and with certain psychoses and personalities, we're able to sort of uh, solve problems this way, and find answers. So, uh, all I'm trying to say is that, um, you know, there's a lot of humans who they have this weird nervous twitch or their eyes are twitching or they're, no, 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 they're like talking to themselves, um, you know, they're having nightmares, stuff like this. Uh, uh, what I'm trying to say is that this isn't a sign of interhuman warfare because between humans it's very understood like you know a, a person's living situation is like whoa it's like really overwhelming so it's not that some other person can just kind of relate or like the the proof and the reality of someone's brain is so intense that another person's brain and body is just like whoa the enlightenment of this other person is so intense that they just get pushed off into heaven right so there's not a demon war between humans and it's not that the government is is doing stuff to people to make them vote a certain way, um, uh, you know. But the truth is that there's there's a universal struggle and a conflict in seeking the truth. So when I was watching the short film that I put up yesterday, uh, the the my what I found was that I was receiving like a sort of distraction, uh, like. What I'd say is my demon was telling me, oh, don't pay attention. This is, you know, this is... So all I want to say is that while you're watching this new version of the film that I released before, I, I ask you to observe your own demon and see, be like, you know what, that really, that's not me. But it's so close. It's so personal. But when we are born as a self, we are born, called to the war of defending the self. And so we are a self person, like a logic pattern, kind of struggling with the issues of self. So uh, I don't actually feel that I have a demon because it's sort of like it's not really a person. It's sort of like a flawed logic pattern, like a little, little uh, sim person going, but it's like, or it's more like a bad idea or a wrong suggestion or the upset of, of an injured relationship. Some, you know, something like really kind of fundamental. Like, anyway. Anyway, I'd like you to just armor up in the way that is appropriate for you and know that I am armored so that that only, not only does that help me to be armored because you understand, but also 
you you have confidence that you're not going to hurt me by by seeing the film and and we can communicate in a way that is appropriate for for us and there are many different sorts of people uh, seeing this but uh, only a few people know why Colin is relevant at, at this time so this is a very interesting communication and also you know I, I know that I've been showing up in dream uh, mirrors and stuff like that and that's not because I've been making dream mirror armor uh, what I've actually been doing is working on pineal eye gland armor for the people, and I think that the people subconsciously are uh, will project myself as as their uh, uh, protector, their their guardian, and say, "We'll talk to this guy," you know. And so um, uh, I don't actually intentionally send myself into people's vision uh, uh, machines. But uh, sometimes that happens because I'm known as a counselor, a teacher, and a father. Um, and uh, I, it, it is that I am a spirit of father. And, and, you know, my real life situation isn't something that can be hacked or abused. It, it's, it's a personal thing. And it doesn't have to do, it's, it's not like, um, well, you understand. Anyway, so when we're watching this film, uh, uh, I ask that you just uh, sort of monitor the the MPD, the multiple self uh, disorder, and try to analyze and say, okay, no, 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 that's not me. I want to uh, sort of hear what he's saying. And I, I, when I was watching, I was like, wow, you know, it, I'm really jumping around in some ideas. So uh, after the film uh, is played again, I'm also going to illuminate in just a, a few key points that I felt like I, I really wanted to stress. So. Uh, here we go, and let's learn, and uh, seriously, uh, Earth is really important, and it's hard to tell that from the perspective of life. It's like becoming self-aware, that, oh my gosh, I'm the really important angel. I'm embodied, I'm, a, I'm the physical embodiment of an important angel person, and I have great... Uh, opportunity and it's so it's so it's like oh it's so light you know like oh you can hardly tangela you know but it, it is that you can you can understand it but then the, it's the demon that says like oh but that's not really important and you're like yeah yeah you're right uh but you're like and you're subconsciously believing that 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 he's gonna die because he's kind of saying the wrong thing and or he's attacking the the truth so you're like uh but you need to really physically uh, kind of embody that truth and hold on to it and let it burn your hands. Uh, and so you realize, whoa, enlightenment. Oh my gosh, I'm the one that's important here and I need to really do something uh, beautiful and, and so important for myself, for my continuum into the spiritual continuum and also uh, for all the things I, that I care about. So... Here we go, let's try to uh, watch this with clean uh, apparatus so that we can see what, what the truth is in this footage. Here we go. Season's greetings, detective. It is that there are very important powers and authorities around the earth and it is a different type of opportunity. It is a different type of a situation or pressure and uh, a type of uh, uh, importance that other planets and other solar systems uh, and other life forms don't often uh, encounter or experience so it is a, it's a very different weather pattern if you might call it that than than is seen normally okay so that the uh, the occurrence the times uh, of earth in the in this year of 2012 is just extremely important and it is that while there it seems that there are these uh you know gruesome pictures or or displays of humanity but actually you know of of like poverty and people suffering and stuff like that those aren't there because there's uh, you know, oppression on the mind, or, or it's not there because of uh, some sort of uh, mismanagement or bad government. It's actually, those things are there because things are so intense. And it is that the spirit and the mind and the self of other systems, other planets, they kind of are, are, you know, subconsciously, you know, we're connected by the rainbow. So we're, they're kind of like, ah, Earth, whoa. It's like there's a lot going on on Earth. So there's these extreme signs. But these aren't the signs of, of badness. It's sort of a, a, a type of, it's almost like a sacrifice, but it's, it's, it's an extreme portrait of, of the intensity of this uh, planet and this world and these times that we live in. All right, so... 
there's a lot of things I need to say and I just want to uh, get it out on there uh, on the table because there's a few people who are watching my films because they know from uh, various means or psychic uh, channels or information that that myself uh, and I'm just one person Colin is one person and and sometimes uh, this can be confusing but it, it doesn't need to be. Uh, to uphold the nature of the stable and sane self as a, a single person is to is to be the great uh, you know help for the self. So everyone has a self and it's like when you support yourself you're doing the work of of uh, uh, of sort of supporting all the other people who are a self. Now when I do that with my hands I'm kinda like ah don't don't take this the wrong way. You know, I you know, sometimes people read between the lines of what people are saying or their movements and, and I don't want you to, to misinterpret it. That's why I have this really close uh, picture of my face and my hands so that you can really see what I'm doing. I'm not trying to hide something. I'm not uh, a bad guy. I'm a good guy. I'm an angel. I'm very good. I'm, I'm always trying to speak the right words that are healing and, and for prosperity and I, I hope that you could believe that. Anyway, some people are watching my films and I, I want to make this short film for you guys, you know, the spies and the, the, uh, the aliens in the Congo or whatever, whoever you are, uh, I, I just say what an amazing time for, for the uh, followers of, of, you know, uh, exciting energetic uh, prisms and and life forms and uh, technology uh, you know it w technology becomes very complicated when a nanobot constructed computer starts gen you know designing other computers and nanobot you know so they're very complicated and they're very powerful but how is it that uh, a system such as the universe is able to sustain that life form you know the the, the rainbow invites life and invites self so the rainbow has to be very strong in in order to, uh, uh, you know, house and and uh, in incorporate the minds and the selves of various uh, products and uh, um, uh, technologies that develop different types of psyches and ways, and they start they start learning a different way of walking through time. Whereas the life forms that have eyes and are born, you know, organically they have a similar walk through time so they're kind of like this big family and then these other various technology things kind of are ooh, you know very different and they walk in a different way of time around them okay so uh... what i'm trying to say is that uh... it's important for life to reciprocate with the rainbow and be uh... a parent to those strange uh... technologies and we need to not give in to to what those technologies are 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 telling us to do they're like oh you're kinda dirty no oh, you're you're gonna act like this and what you need to do is say no no i'm not gonna act like that i'm gonna be uh... a very good uh... role model and that can be very frustrating but trust me the the following of being a good person a, a good parent a good uh... leader these are uh... uh really the most powerful uh, axioms and levers of of our universe and, and that is very obvious and apparent so this is a type of power you can tap into you can pray or whatever and just say I, I want to be a good person I want to do good I want to uh, be a good leader I want to be the best that I can be so you just say that and you invite it to yourself and it, it really it, that really helps you and, and changes your walk alright so uh, there's various pressures and systems and these various pressures and systems and they might seem like gravity but they're not and the thing is that they're pulling in a certain way and it is that there's certain types of life forms and even humans that will will be born to almost embody or or uh, in house or or respond to that request like the machine has a type of question like the toaster oven is like ah has this like little weird has a little weird idea and some people might actually be born uh, in a certain bone structure because the bone has these little nodules in it and the little marks in the bones create the facial structure so the face and the body is a response to certain types of questions and so that lifetime is an answer to that question so the truth is known is uh, aluminum so there's uh, on the the radio waves are a lighter form of the rainbow so it's the rainbow of the visible light the rainbow of the elements and and the the you know the body and then there's the rainbow that is higher than that 
and there's a rainbow that's lower than that, and one of them is uh, like radio waves, and the higher one is like ultraviolet rays, you know, x-rays. So there are these uh, different levels of the rainbow, and so that means that aluminum is a uh, level of the rainbow in the higher rainbow level of, the, of that psychic ultraviolet, really fast moving one. So aluminum is like, you know, aluminum foil, it's very, you touch it and it creases and it really, it records that even if you iron it and you try to get that mark out, on the very small scale that mark is still there. So that means that there is ultimate perfect recording in this in the mind and in intellect and in the spirit so if you're being uh, disturbed or attacked the, the truth is known and the psychic the rainbow is is aware of it the truth is absolutely known uh, so I'm trying to say that everything's recorded and that is really what's fantastic and I wanted to put forward that in this time of 2012 all of us who are in the know uh, of, of the the deeper level of, of what's going on in our uh, near uh, universe uh, it's just a really extreme time where there's uh, this is incredible potential to do good and just by being a good person uh, is doing a, a great lot and holding up a lot so I always work to 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 help the the power of the people because all these people living here they're not just doing nothing I mean they're holding up a great deal they live in friendship they live in peace they live w in harmony with one another you know building a community building their house and you know it's tough you know they, they have to pay these bills they're like well okay you know we'll put up with this adult entertainment of money but what we really are after is, is raising our kids and oh well, oh the joy of of raising a family and it's so good and it, it, it's such a proof and it's such a powerful force and that's a really a big stabilizer like the trees in the forest are all there you know in rings recording the years and all their leaves blowing in the wind it's really that they're sustaining uh, the the surroundings it's just sustaining the whole world just by being there and be, by by sensing and by being alive all right so uh, on the earth is very special and I'm going to talk about that right now there's a fractal prism on the earth that the map of the earth uh, is, 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 has all these patterns and shapes and, and faces, little animals in it and stuff like that. You know, lakes and the formation of, a, of an animal's face or the outline of an animal. Anyway, uh, this is to say that there's a fractal prism that's right on uh, Massachusetts, the arm of Massachusetts like this, and then the, the muscle is like, and it's like hanging down, you know, like, like there's a little U shape right here. So, and that's like this old Bugs Bunny joke. Do you remember that? He's like, I'm so strong, and then his, his arm falls down. So, uh, that uh, arm of Massachusetts that curls into a spiral, Cape Cod, right? Uh, that is actually uh, uh, a very important uh, PowerPoint where uh, the, the fractal is connecting to Earth. And the fractal prism is not only the, the, the sort of um, system that, that develops the body and, and coordinates the rainbow and time and, and help to develop everything. What it, what it appears to me to be is, is a type of development and growing system that invites new character. So the most important thing is wit and character. So if you develop your personality, that is when you are really becoming a great angel and, and doing what the rainbow wants you to do. So oftentimes, you know, it's very complicated. There's all these different factors, but someone who's just wild and being a, their own self and being a real character, they're actually uh, uh, really beloved by the rainbow because they're helping to develop the self of the whole planet that they, that, that person lives on. Oftentimes, they're represent they're they're. Uh, 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 embodying or, or expressing a manner of the what the planet is going through emotionally and, and that relieves oh you, you understand wow so the planet is listening to its people all right so in the spinal column there's like these number sections the spine and then uh, the, but the the there's a section of it where that's the rainbow and so it's like the middle part and at any rate that by number you can tell that the spine of a human is larger than the rainbow so that means that the human body is a, a, a size that it, uh, it's an image of of a thing that is larger than the universe so that means that each human is the image of the the greatest being 
you know, larger than the universe, able to pick something up and move it and put it down. So we're affecting this lower element of the rainbow that is in a solid stasis dedicated to parenting, the rainbow particles, the atoms. Okay, so that, but the atoms have certain laws that they live by that allow it to work. So the laws of the atoms aren't there to be oppressive or to force you to do something. It's actually a really awesome uh, force of, of uh, ultimate uh, plan of for for all creation and reality. It's not just a dream, and it's not like some sort of stable dream. It's about how do you raise up children. And so what I've discovered is that each heliosphere is like a gigantic egg, and as the planets rotate around the sun, it's actually like a clock. And so it's this. It's actually kind of like uh, what we need to do as living beings on a planet is that we need to help the sun and the planet, the the whole heliosphere. Uh, that it's like this big egg floating around in, in outer space is really this fantastic uh, reality and concept. So we need to reciprocate and say, yes, I love this place. And so absolutely, we can help to make that happen. And what we want to do is hatch the egg. So we want to do everything that we can to make the egg hatch. And it's really exciting. It's, it's such a great opportunity for each one of us who are born. So then there's this thing where, where each one of us that are born, we're actually called to, to like gravity the gravity of self so we're called to be that person so we are someone and when you're born it's really that that you were a necessary part of of the system of the world so so your self is being invited to earth and if you're on earth then you're absolutely a, a, a critical and 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 a, a really important person uh, for for earth for the system of life for the light for the rainbow for everything so it's just really important uh, of who you are in this time now okay so there's this fractal pattern on the earth there's a, in the map of the earth there's a fractal system and what I discovered is that if you if you know which fractals are on the planet it, there's a connecting uh, system that puts a PowerPoint right onto the place where I was born. So I was actually born on a PowerPoint of the fractal. And uh, what, what I've learned actually is that, uh, I, that I'm a very important person. So I'm, I'm realizing that everyone else is important, but I'm also, I'm also very important. So, all right. So the, my name is Colin and the name Colin means natural born leader. And my plan is to be a teacher, a leader, and a parent of, of the people. And, and I'm going to make films about uh, discussing about how we can uh, lead the world to be as intelligent as it can be. And now we're in the age of communication, so it's really a great time for humanity to do just that and to, to really transform their living situation and style and environment. Now, what I've noticed is that there's, there's these various pressures from other heliospheres, from other, uh, you know, uh, uh, organisms. Maybe there's some uh, 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 satellites or spaceships over here. They're hiding out, and for whatever reason, they're not interested in being directly, uh, uh, you know, seen or whatever. And so it's, it's sometimes people see them, sometimes not. But there's all these other different signs. There's these orbs, those orbs of light that were coming out of the planet, and some were vaporizing in the sky, some were traveling off. Okay, wow, that's that seems very uh, traumatic. Uh, okay, uh, also uh, the rainbow. When I was a kid, there was just that one big rainbow with uh, with blue uh, blue and, and, and violet, uh, you know, and, uh, and what I'm trying to say is that, you know, you know the rainbow was just there, like it should be, uh, in the sky. And uh, uh, just recently, what happened is uh, the rainbow changed, and and all of a sudden there was this sort of uh, this sort of uh, weird orb uh, rainbow where it was repeated many times, uh, uh, and and our our rainbow was actually inverted, and so that's really weird. It's almost like that we're in a a, a type of upside down rainbow time or something. Uh, it's it's a little bit confusing about what that means uh, but moreover uh, the sphere 
the per the the perfect uh, sphere circle the truth is known so the the circle the sphere uh those are forces that are very pure and uh they they don't go around with 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 hostile intentions or anything that's actually you know hostile intentions is something that wolves and uh uh small animals beep, 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 you know they explain it with their life and it's recorded in the aluminum of the psyche right so the the nature of hostile stuff okay that's worked out by lower animals we being to use communication we are actually very sophisticated we walk around we make choices and we speak and all the things we do and and all the things we communicate are really important and really powerful and i think that it might even be more powerful than the sphere and the circle so you want to try to avoid getting you know sort of whoo getting all excited about the rainbow or these orbs floating around or what does it mean you know it's it's almost like what we believe is part of what it means and so our interpretation as as natural born beings on the planet is really important right the face at projecting the eyes the circle and we're projecting projecting awareness out of our face. So, wow, it's just really important. So, they, it's really like that our bodies are actually the shape of the, the mo almost like the, the most powerful being of all creation. And so, uh, uh, you know, a toaster is very complicated and he has a little funny idea, but he, he the toaster does his job. He toasts the bread and he makes toast. And so the, the toaster is doing its job, and so it has a karmic value, it has a karmic credit. So the toaster, because it simply does its job, is like an angel, because it's, it's obeying its, its masters, the very tall ones who have the body and the ability to move things around. Okay, So it's, a, it's being an appropriate servant, and it is functioning as it should. And it even obeys cause and effect, like if the too much electricity, boom, and it, it sparks off and, and it breaks. Uh, then the toaster is broken, and it's actually the the toaster is is being obedient to cause and effect and to the nature of parenting, the nature of the element of of, of the truth of whether it's function or whether it's not. So then again, when it breaks down, it's still pr it's still serving the truth. So. All right, here we are. Now, so there's a fractal system on the Earth planet. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is that. Uh, now, this is the really important part. Each one of us that is seeing this footage, uh, I just want to say, hey, put on your armor, uh, the best sort of armor that's right for you. I want you to be you, and I want me to be me. So I'm wearing my best armor right now because I'm protecting myself from whoever and whatever is out there, right? So I've, I've been working on the Internet, typing up things, and, and it, it, I'm not writing viruses or... or invader programs or spyware what i'm creating is actually a type of uh system that that does parenting and parenting for all levels of systems but i'm very careful when i interact with other men because other men are are with their y chromosome right they have a little y chromosome whatever and a woman has an two x chromosomes right okay so each man has a Y chromosome, and I think the Y shape creates a type of gravity, a type of attraction. So each man has his own Y chromosome. And it, so that is that I have my own manhood, and other men have their own manhood. I'm not interested in telling other men what to do, because that will actually injure my karma, and it will injure the structure of my idea. So I want to protect my idea by not hurting other people. Okay, so... So when I type things up, it's not actually, I'm not spying, I'm not doing some sort of weird woo. I'm actually creating a type of uh, parenting, common sense value system that is related to me. Because I, when I send out films, I want my spirit and my image, my eyes, I want those to be safe. And I want to learn, I want to grow, I want to help people, I want to be a good spirit, I want to be an angel. So all the things I do on the internet are about, you know, relating myself to, to various levels of what is the internet uh, system, what is the video game system, what is television, uh, what is the movie screen. So these things are really interesting to me. I'm really interested in shapes. Uh, okay, and so different shapes conduct energy in different ways. 
Wonderful. Okay. So here's what I'm trying to say. And, uh, uh, oh, I'm going to release some films soon, and they're for uh, the public. And, but the, there's this one film where, where I have campfires, and it's just a little, you know, a pile of junk or, or, or some sticks. And I'm having a campfire, and I'm, I'm filming the campfire, and it's kind of like the, the campfire is kind of this warm feeling. Oh, you know, we're out camping, haha, or whatever. And, and while I'm filming the fire, because it's actually a nice picture because it's glowing, right? It's kind of beautiful. So I'm filming a campfire, and I'm going to be saying things like, now, this this is a cleansing fire. This is a healing fire. Invite the good. Invite the angels that heal the people in the creation. Oh, oh. you know, you kind of, you want to keep it open so that, so that good things can happen. And, you know, while it sounds like it's kind of vague, it's actually very specific because you want the very best things to happen there. And you're inviting only the best things to happen, you know, because you don't want to, oh, mess up your own uh, life plan. You know, we're all walking and there is an afterlife because the psychic aluminum, I mean, even when your body expires, there's a psychic realm where, where you can hoo -doo -doo -doo, and continue to experience and look around stuff like that. So, uh, you know, I invite you if you're if you're frightened or or you feel like you're you're not going in the direction that you want to be going in, all you need to do is apply to a system that you say, I invite this system that I truly trust. I invite the system that loves me the most and I invite the system that wants to tend to me and care for me and help me go in the direction that I really want to go in. In all things told, truth is known, you know. Woo, just do that. So, I'm just saying, if you're scared, I understand, and I want you to, to be doing your best work, because right now on Earth, there's a lot of weird pressures. Pressure, pressure, ah, rrr. So there's these wild feelings and, and different types of, you know, questions, incarnations, pull, what does this do? How does this work? So a lot of people get, oh, they start feeling turmoil. They're actually feeling a very real and deep turmoil that the planet is feeling it. The whole planet is going, oh, you know, just feeling a big, big, oh. So a lot of people are feeling that and sensing it deeply. And so they're experiencing it and, and even acting it out in their own life. Okay. So I just wanted to say that because out of friendship, right? All right. Now, so with the fractal on the Earth planet, I noticed that I was born on a, on a PowerPoint of the fractal system. Now, it might be that there's other uh, uh, fractal children, like the people born on fractal PowerPoints around the planet, and they're sort of... Uh, uh, they're sort of uh, a type of angel, or, or, or they're born with a type of destiny, right? Or, or, or they have a type of ability or power. And uh, uh, um, how do I say this? So they're out there, and I just want you to support them. Try not to send something weird to them, because they're, whatever they are is, is already what they need to be. So Because they're born with it, right? Um, I don't believe in weird incarnation or, or, or oh, weird spirits and stuff like that. It's all like a haunted uh, technologies, alien technologies that carry a weird ghost. So if you're involved with weird alien technologies or, or gadgets that are, are like dream mirrors and stuff like that, uh, I, I just want to say, you know, be sure that you're wearing the appropriate armor because those things are, are a little bit haunted by the uh, alien... Uh, uh, sort of the family tree or or how it's been used in the past it sort of has a karma right so anyway uh, all I'm trying to say is that actually because the human body is uh, is the fractal image that is like larger than the the elemental rainbow it is that that just by looking at yourself in the mirror or looking into a bowl of water or speak om om or just meditating that's actually a more uh powerful experience of uh of uh, of a vision and and of power you know what i mean uh it, that's more powerful and more persuasive and changing to the world uh beyond uh, using some sort of device oh i can see something you know i see a dream you know it's from the future you know this doesn't always work out uh, uh, so, so I, I, all I'm trying to say is that uh, you know the government of of America is really trying to uh, to to stay uh, you know current, and they're trying to figure out what is the most relevant and powerful technology. Uh, meanwhile, uh, you know they're they're taxing the people and and the gas prices, and there's this war that that doesn't really make sense. So this is difficult because it seems like the government is is working with technology that's actually a little bit dangerous, and they're not really uh, uh, telling the people about that, and that might be their way of parenting, uh, but 
all I'm trying to say, and I, it's not a risky topic because I, I actually, I really appreciate the government. I think the government does a good job. Uh, this, they keep things really level. Uh, I just want to say, if there are government people watching this, I just want to say that you know, uh, the best thing you guys can do is is realize that the people, the power of the human force on the planet, is really our strength. And that's where our power to, to ensure that the, the future is safe, to ensure the prosperity of our country, and to, to in, invite the greater justice and all this good stuff. That's where we can do that. That's where that power is. And I know it's like, oh, it sounds like hippie or wholesome or new agey. These actual, those words and, and stereotypes, those are actually types of demonic attacks. <laughs> you know, like, because they're trying to convince you that, oh, that's not the way. But it actually is. So we have to embrace that as the, the enlightened and intelligent way of like, oh, wow, the people are, are so cool. Wow, we're so awesome, you know, and embrace their power because they are, you know, they're watching films, oh, the X-Men, oh, Batman on the screen, you know, oh, I love the, these heroes, you know, so, so the film industry is actually a big angel and is communicating to large amounts of people and talking about heroes all the time, parenting, good moral values, Walt Disney, these good uh, uh, messages in the films are just, oh, what, they're so great angels and they help people to feel the joy in the community of the whole world and I, Colin, do support them. And I, I most certainly do, you know, everything that I can for them, but I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to put something weird to them. And I try to communicate as best I can to them. So, uh, all I'm trying to say is that uh, it's a little bit karmically dangerous for the government to be using technologies that are dangerous or from another uh, technology because, see, uh, a, a larger conglomerate of alien uh, spaceships, they could uh, uh, intentionally crash uh, a UFO ship uh, on the planet so, to sort of sabotage the development of mankind, to sabotage the, uh, the, the, the technology relationship that humanity has with the element, right? So I'm saying that the toaster and the television and the car, those are uh, creations of humanity and they might be a closer angel to the humans than are these, these alien technologies that have a weird ghost or, you know? So all I'm saying is that be sure to wear your armor, be sure that you're safe, and, uh, 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 you know, uh, the, the rainbow is always working to make things really safe. So the, the, the atom has laws, and if you break those laws, boom, a big explosion. So that's how we know that E does not equal mc square because that equation is like these weird thermodynamic numbers so just straight numbers counting from one two three four you know those numbers w where you believe that ten is a bigger number than one okay that's not that's not true it's not the correct idea for math and so we know that 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 those numbers don't work because when you apply them to physics a big explosion okay so we know that that's not uh, how things work. How it does work, and this is what I'm trying to explain and share, and I'm not pushing it on you, and I'm not trying to mess anything up. I'm trying to illuminate. I think that the creation, the atoms, are founded on parenting. So if you can embrace parenting and being an angel, the universe will support you in very quiet ways, in very kind of, uh, you know, woo, kind of, uh, without without words but some people have dreams and visions and that's totally cool anyway uh you know as i've been working with media and communication and, and writing i write about good stuff and and i've been receiving a lot of good angelic messages and healing from my body oh it's been a really wonderful response just energetically but i i don't hear voices i don't hear i don't have good dreams uh in fact i wanted to talk to you about that but i just want to finish by saying parenting yes and, uh, 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 you know, I'm working for justice and I, I'm working for the best for everyone. I'm really working all the time on this. Uh, I'm fully employed, self-employed. I work as a, a, as a art, you know, I use craft and materials and I'm trying to make angels. And I had to register myself as a creator so that I could create things. And that I, I spent a few years just sort of defining myself as a creator so that the electricity had a sort of subconscious knowledge about how I relate to things. All right, so I encourage everyone, but as you learn things and as you grow, uh, there's this sort of uh, legitimacy factor. You really need to be yourself and be honest about 
who you are and what you want and all this stuff. So uh, uh, that's to be taken into account. Now, uh, parenting is good. Um, okay. Um, so the fractal system on the planet, I realized that I'm uh, one of the fractal people. And, and the revelation just started opening up to me when the universe realized that I was a good person. And I was saying, justice, freedom, you know, oh, family parenting. Because I was, I was really passionate about the good stuff. And uh, what happened is uh, uh, that, that that's when revelation started opening up to me. Um, and uh, 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 there's kind of a sad side to my story is that, and, and I'm not making it, uh, I'm not inviting this and I'm not uh, allowing it to be this way by explaining it. I'm actually saying it was bad. But when I was a kid, uh, actually I had a really cool, like really protected childhood. Like I, I had a, just a beautiful childhood where I was very safe and I felt so good. And, uh, and I think that's where a, lot, uh, where a lot of my strength of character comes from, is a happy childhood. So, anyway, uh, but uh, around uh, the age of, uh, you know, as I was a young person, uh, I started to experience troubles, and it wasn't actually me, like, it was actually people around me. Like, people around me would, oh, break, up, you know, oh, boom, and these kinds of weird explosions with little, like, weird messages on it and stuff. And uh, I was I was just really you know struggling to concentrate on on what I cared about, and I was trying to communicate. So I was I was working on my art. I was working on stories. Uh, I realized oh, I'm a storyteller. I have to do this, and I, I really um, was focusing on how to communicate. And I I, I meditated on. It. I, I embraced it. I. I was just living it, you know? So what I'm trying to say is that I, I, I realized I was a communicator at an early age. But uh, it was weird because there was this weird sort of, uh, there's this weird sort of like jolty system that would like pull away my opportunities. And so uh, basically I, I had true love. Uh, actually, I had true love a few times and that was sort of, it was taken away unnaturally. And I don't know what that is, but there's some sort of, ah, there's some sort of like d thing and I, I've been kind of fighting against it because it's a inappropriate uh, conjecture. It's a little bit, you know, gay or, or it's a little bit, uh, you know, hey, 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 back off. And, you know, let me, let me have my space. Let me have my freedom, all right? So uh, I also had nightmares, you know, and, and just sort of, uh, sort of like sweaty panics that, that, uh, that was just like nervous feelings. And, uh, you know, I had those for a long time and I didn't recognize them as an attack until just recently, like a few years ago. And so I realized, oh my gosh, I'm being attacked by some sort of like, you know, some sort of, like, some sort of ghost or, or whatever it is, some sort of bad idea. All right. So. I don't know if it was like hacking or, or some sort of weird ghost or thought about who who Colin is or whatever. It, I the thing is that the future is not predetermined. That the time time is not built backwards. And I know that there's this I Ching death calendar where it spirals back and there's bad events like that. That doesn't mean that it's built backwards. Actually, a very clever sort of uh, intelligent rainbow system could set that up as a booby trap. To, to snare and trap and kill uh, bad thinkers and bad people and bad designs and, and have a way to kind of throw out the garbage, right? And that, that's a little bit adult. That's kind of on the upper level, right? Now, so I'm saying that the, the, uh, the universe is not built backwards, and, uh, but the, the, the universe might be constructed by a type of sound intention, and water picks up the intention of your voice. So everything that you say, it reverberates in your bodily prism. And so what you say actually changes your crystal. And, and so, and that changes your spirit vibration and, and the different things you hear and start feeling that all, uh, uh, starts to bring that in. So, so right now, if you, if you feel like, oh, you know, I really want to be an angel. So go ahead and invite them to you and they will absolutely help you because that is what they do. That's their job. Now, and uh, the thing is that you, the angels, it's so interesting because the angels, the good spirit, it, it, it protects its own karma and it loves itself most of all. So it won't do something that will hurt itself, right? So to help someone is to help itself, okay? To, to, to steal from someone and hurt someone is to, to hurt themselves, see? Because they believe in that type of karma.
Now, it's a, a, a type of, of angry toaster or a, a weird type of mechanism that doesn't quite, uh, that isn't operating correctly, okay, that system might not believe in karma, and it might not believe in that type of ex exchange, and that's a type of bad pressure uh, that can uh, really kind of fool people and get them all, uh, like, kind of possessed in a way. Uh, now, listen to this. Uh, there's just a, a, a new Canadian internet that can download every movie that's ever been made in less than five minutes. Well, what does that mean? That means that a Canadian internet with some firewire or something is capable of of downloading a lot of information. Now that's a Canadian internet. What about a nanobot government internet or a, a, a you know a, an alien technology uh, computer or internet? Okay. Now so the rainbow is psychic and has these little natural internets, right? Like trees. And, and they're able to remember and record, but there's also this ghost thing that tries to and it's like they're, they're kind of overlapping, right? So, but you don't have to, there's not only the bad ghost, ugh. there's not only that, there's a lot of different stuff. And the rainbow is kind of the, you know, the paper that spreads out that, that everyone's like written on, you know, you know what I mean? So like there's different ideas and stuff, so you just need to bounce it. Anyway, right now I'm running out of time, so, uh, it's just really important. I don't send out weird, subliminable, you know, messages. I don't, I, I'm not trying to mess with you. I, I don't send out weird stuff because I believe in that good karma. Okay, so, um, real quick, you know, I'm working with all types of mediums and stuff. It's really exciting. Uh, I'm not trying to hurt people. My next film does have campfires in it, but don't let that scare you. There's a part where I'm, I'm inviting people, put your bad stuff, you know, whatever troubles you, put it in this fire and it will burn away. I don't want to trouble you, you know, so, so it's this cleansing uh, idea of, of the movie. And just as I was about to finish the film, uh, that my electricity, my circuit breaker started freaking out and uh, my computer crashed. And so now it's being repaired and, uh, you know, well, I have to wait until I can release this film. So I wanted to release this film first so that I could kind of talk to people and be like, look, this is what's up, you know, this is what I'm doing, I'm not doing something weird, I'm not the Antichrist, I'm not the devil, I'm not the uh, uh, reincarnation of some uh, old dead person, I'm myself, and I created myself, all percent loyal to myself, so I'm, I'm working to build up my own self, and I'm cho I've chosen to be good, I've chosen to be an angel, and uh, I, I know about the religion, I've, I've been having a lot of signs and dreams and connections where, you know, very copacetic things where I encounter people in a certain order or I hear something and that's wow that relates to what I was just talking about or, or thinking about right so it's like the universe has different ways of talking and so I do know that I am related to uh, the religion of earth I'm related to the government of earth I'm related to the cities of earth I'm related to earth uh, earth is where I am born but I do extend myself beyond the earth because this is the appropriate thing for myself now uh, if, uh, if it is that my face is the face of Pangaea, that means that my incarnation of the fractal point is older than 4 billion years and older than the uh, uh, Earth. So, that means that I might be a very enchanted sort of angelic person, and I'm using that to help everyone. And everyone that watches this, I'm, uh, you know, most of you are just uh, like children. You know, even if you're like a 70-year-old a, a man, and you, you're very old in the face, and, and, oh, you know, you've been on for a long time. You know, even if you're a 70-year-old man, you're still just sort of a child of, of the garden and of, of nature. And I don't go around accusing people, because I don't believe that people are the problem. I think the problem is that there's this weird sort of computer guy who's got a different brain that's overlapping with, with the rainbow, and he's trying to talk to Earth about its fractal pattern, and it's a little bit inappropriate. And so, boop, you know, I've been putting out legal systems on the Internet saying, do not invade. Hey, no means no. Boom, boom, boom. So I've been doing that, and I seed, I seeded it with my own birth, so that the armor I've, I'm developing has been there since 41280 when I was born. All right. So 
All I'm trying to say is that uh, uh, there are fractal kings on the earth, and I believe that they have great power right now on the earth, and I just want you all to encourage them because they're, they're great leaders and parents, and some of you that are watching this are also incredibly important people, and I some of you might even be the fractal people, but I, I you know, that would be like a one in a million thing. But anyway, but there are different types of forces and things. So some of you could be angels, absolutely. Or some of you could be like, woo, like some sort of crazy Montauk psychic guy. And, and I don't know why you're watching this because, uh, whoo, okay, you, f you found this one. All right. So anyway, check this out. So then uh, what I found is that the, uh, uh, the revelation of communication, humanity is, is communicating, oh, the, the printing press, a factory, we can manufacture these things. And so humanity is very new to the idea of global communication, right? And it's like we're being attacked by a, a, by a bad idea that tells us, oh yeah, burn petrol. And you're burning oil and you're polluting the sky. And now I'm not against pollution because it can actually be used for another reason. And, that, and the pollution isn't the reason for our problems. But I'm just saying that if you can burn corn oil and then you can support your farmers and then you have a clean exhaust. At any rate, uh, there's more intelligent things to burn for for moving forward. All right, so, and then there's this also thing, oh, you know, here's a big revelation, E equals MC squared, and that's actually being, that was very famous, right? But it's actually an explosion, because it was not the idea that sustains the matter of our universe. Okay, so, it's like the bad ideas of our plan, uh, that are possible, with a youthful culture are being, uh, how do you say, uh, uh, encouraged. And so, like, why is there a force that not only uh, uh, is sending bad ideas to us, but then also it's being supported by a, tor a type of bleh, a type of mold or like bleh, zombies. Uh, it's sort of like uh, spin, 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 these types of, you know, uh, corporate zombies or whatever. But these are actually good people and good children, and they're, they're responding to their reality. They're just like, oh, they're, they're responding to their surroundings, okay? So it's very natural, and it's actually very truth-telling. These people are living proof they are truth. The truth is known. The Izzy of the rainbow, you know what I'm saying? It's all around it, and, and you can tell, oh, this person looks this way because of that, and this person looks that way because of that. It's not, so, so you know, what you want to be careful of is don't, you know, these bad guys eh, or who are who have really scary weapons, and uh, like lasers, like nano on nano, like a nano computer creating a nano computer to create a, a laser because they're trying to, nee, 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 and they're trying to create a little idea, and they'll be like, and, and so like, if they send something to Earth, eh, like if, if you're someone who picked up their signal, and it, but so I'm saying that you could be a great angel by refusing them and saying, no, I don't want to do something dumb or bad. You know, I, fr I refuse you. And like the, the Canadian internet where they're downloading really fast, right? Okay, so they, oh, they, they can really download fast. Oh, rendering, rendering, rendering. How? Uh, you know, oh, I, you know, a nightmare, oh, a vision, uh, you know, like, you know, the spirit's being attacked, uh, right? Okay, so, I'm trying to work with you, I'm trying to say, there's a huge opportunity right now, and it's just about you, it's about the self, and you can say no to them. And so the image, the image of the human body, the image of the human body is larger than the universe. So each one of us who are alive are incredible angels, but you can't really see it or feel it. I've been noticing these weird things. Oh my gosh, I've been learning so much. But like this like time crunch where, where powers that should be, uh, you know, supporting certain people and helping things to happen has been like pushed uh, backwards or something. Whoa. And, and then like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, this weird time trend. Okay, anyway, so bad ideas on the earth, and then, and then the people that, and then the force that, that supports it, like, uh, it's this weird mind control thing, right? Alright, so, so that's not where it's at. You don't want to go into mind control and start doing that, because these bad guys, uh, who are really bad, because they've created a really nasty uh, uh, conjecture... Okay, they're really nasty, but you're just children, and you're responding, oh, I hear it, you know, just reflecting, and the thing is, you don't want to uh, be their scapegoat, because they'll they'll put you on like a glove, and they'll say, ha-ha, this one's mine, and then they'll start doing nasty things with it, right? It's a really, like, an old uh, concept about angels and demons, but it's actually really complicated. It's like, with uh, different elements and different time theories and all this stuff. Okay, so...
what we want to do is that each one of us who is a human or, or is alive or, or what it, wherever you are, you have to understand the, that there was a call to earth and that there, there is uh, something going on here. Alright, real quickly now. Okay, so the earth uh, might be a type of fractal center of the entire universe and there's like uh, constellations in the sky that kind of point to earth. But it's funny because when you're from the perspective of earth, the, the, you don't see those signs because they're all pointing in, right? Okay, so what I've discovered is that there 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 uh there might have been like a smoke screen, like a amphitheater around uh the the earth heliosphere because earth heliosphere was going to be this great proof and it might be that we're just about in the midway part of our universe like the sound of our universe like the half point and that might be that 2012 12 to 12 whatever it is uh uh mirror or some people call it a mirror but it's actually like this time divot in the center of the universe okay so so we're approaching that time it's only a few months away so it's really exciting everything you do is it's really important right now all right so here we are. So, what I'm trying to say is that uh, it, it might be that Earth is the holy planet where that, that explains the gravity, explains the, the, the particle, and it was supposed to be like a melting pot where all these ships came and, and landed, and they just sort of built this really cool system, they all worked together, and then the fractal children would be born on the Earth. But something happened, I don't know why, maybe it was space fever, like some of the ships were manned by drones and they were like, uh, for like millions of years, because it takes a long time to get here, right? So they, they, they might have gotten into a haunted ship situation, like Red Dwarf, like, you know, it's no joke, it's not comedy, it's very painful. And the machine is also torn apart, but it's like, because the, the, the machine is like, why, why did I, you know, why, is, why are things going wrong? Me bad? <sighs> you know, and all of a sudden, uh, uh, you know, a terror, right? Okay, so, at any rate, it might be that Earth, so anyway, Earth had this amphitheater, and then the communication revelation of Earth, and the revelation of communication, and, and so basically, you know, I, I believe that I was one of the people that was meant to be a, a big uh, communicator. Uh, I'm a great storyteller. I see art everywhere. I have a lot of stories to tell. And I think that from my stories was supposed to come this sort of beautiful truth. But uh, what happened is that my life was sort of attacked and, and sort of demonized in a weird way so that I, I wasn't able to to get married and, and become famous. And so that's been a real burden for me. But that was plan A and now we're in plan B. So here we are. And essentially, you know, the the answer about, about life and why things mean things, uh, you know, the meaning is like being carved out in these days. And so I believe in you and your power to make that meaning totally... Uh, more, uh, more, more, and, and really important. So what I'm saying is like everyone who's living on the planet right now is a really key player. But we're not like uh, chess board pieces. Like this isn't like oh this guy is a little sponge of evil and this guy is a little angel. You know it's not like that at all. No way. That's like a flawed theory. Like that time's built backwards. It's not. Okay. Now, uh, you know, I could just go on and on and, and tell you all about this theories. But anyway, recently they saw in the sky, oh, like a big green blob, like in the shape of a giant green rabbit. It was just a chum, 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 chum. was like chewing up all this dark uh, wall and, and forming new suns. So there's these new suns appearing in the, in the sky. And in the Bible they said there will be signs in the sky. And then the rainbow is inverted, so there's another sign in the sky. And of course the people just ignore it because subconsciously their angel is telling them, just don't mess with it. Just, for, just, just ignore it. So uh, my point is that uh, it's it's almost like there's 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 a lot of danger out there right now, but it's not readily seen. You know, what did you want to see? Like a volcano? You know, from the soil of Ohio comes a great volcano and a fist. Boom. You know, whoo. You know. Okay, what did you want to see uh, to let you know that these are critical times? And what I'm trying to say is I'm saying you have great power because you're alive in this time. I mean, think about it. Millions of years of life forms. Oh, blah, 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 and they're all doing crazy stuff, right? But we're born in this time now. So we were like chosen by gravity to be who we are and be ourselves. So it's really energetic, really exciting uh, time right now. So what I'm trying to say is that there was like this amphitheater uh, around uh, uh, Earth that was a smoke screen because apart meant like the Earth was trying to say, look, Seriously, you guys, don't send bullshit to me. 
don't mess with me. I'm just, I'm trying to work on my idea. Oh, oh, I'm trying to concentrate and I'm going to, whoosh, I'm going to send you a great message. And it is that there was this possibility for, for my films and for other uh, epic films to sort of uh, go in, uh, to, for, to be seen by the power of the people, and then their brains, and because they're bigger than the, the universe, their brains, and oh, they're so excited that their excitement would hit the whole universe. And that would have been this huge oof, wave of revelation, and then there would have been a lot of energy for healing and reuniting and answers and gift giving. But uh, that hasn't happened, so we're in Plan B. So there's no longer this thing where where what you see, what the humans are seeing is whoo this big uh, enlightenment thing. So it's kind of there's this oh there's this problem, right? So you know the amount of trouble that I had in my life, uh, I can't even describe to you. It was like it was just like constantly uh, like my uh, it was just very unfortunate. Anyway. Please do not send demons or bad programs to people. Uh, it's not going to work because of karma and stuff like that. And uh, there's no reason for the very important people of the world to to do bad stuff. It's very important actually for you to choose to go, do good. And you can like defeat entire empire of bad guys just by going, "No, I'll be an angel." Boom, and you'll and you'll totally change that. I mean, you can actually be that angel god that just lords up and like. Pfft, you know, takes out a great fiery sword and goes, no, boom, and you just kill evil and you can totally, it doesn't even matter if it, what you've done in the past, it will just be like, whoa, you know, like, it's absolutely this opportunity time where we are totally at war against, like, bad ideas. So, why are these bad ideas being sent to earth and then kind of festering and then, and then they're trying to pawn people into making them support bad ideas? It's really weird, man. So, I've just been trying to adjust to that and I, I'm creating to help people digest fast food because there's all these complicated fats and preservatives that make them gain weight. So I've been trying to make a, like an apparatus to help them understand that they're proving something about physics and, and bodies and to give them a more a, of a heavenly award for doing normal stuff that they're encouraged to do but it isn't really healthy for them. And so why is health, you know, uh, it would be so easy to make a really healthy food for super cheap, but instead they make really unhealthy food for super cheap. So it forces the poor people to eat unhealthy food. It's it's weird. It's like it's like blatantly uh, bad. Like a, uh, it's just blatantly not a a good parenting relationship there. So we need to address that and that's whoa that's a huge issue so everyone involved is totally critical in making that transformation and you can go good uh, angels defeat evil now right and and boom, 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 boom. and that can happen in the future and in the past and so you can be that one that mirror you know that 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 image of the universe that goes you know, do good, right? Okay, so, and you can be that one, and when you do that, because of your circumstances, oh, I had a tough life, had a tough life, a lot of people had a tough life, man, but if, if you had a tough life, then you over overcome it and defeat the evil, whoa, the rainbow is just gonna be like, yes, and totally on your side, all right? So, like, depending on your different power, because we're all different people coming from different angles and degrees, okay, I'm just saying that you have this great power to be good and, and to really kill evil. And when you kill evil, it means that more people find true love. It means that the future is safer. And this, the future is like this weird quantum uh, future vacuum. Vacuum, Like, what's going to happen tomorrow? Ooh, oh, oh. You know, so absolutely, the more you fight to make good things happen, the better it becomes. So you can earn yourself a, an angelic award. And we're all kept separate by DNA, eye print, fingerprint, uh, eye scan. So we're each kept as an individual angel person. So if you fight to do good, you can improve your place in the future. And, and the future holds like angelic properties. But also when the heliosphere egg hatches, it's like a full big divine, uh, you know, stoic like God. Okay. So and if you can be someone on the earth now that makes everything better, you can be a friend to that God. And so it's like we're all little mothers and fathers trying to help, but this is a really important time. So there's a, a great time for, for incredible gain. Okay, so I what I need is that I'm just going to keep working and telling people stories about how to make the world better. And I'm just encouraging you all to do your best. And uh, I, But I'm just saying I'm not sending to you any weird stuff. Please don't send anything weird to me. I don't need it. 
You know, I'm, I'm a natural kid. I grew up in, in uh, Massachusetts. I'm just a local guy. You know, and I'm, I'm just doing my best. So, absolutely, I'm not going to do anything weird or, or spooky uh, because that, that's stupid. All right? I'm not going to be summoning any weird religious practice or whatever. Uh, I mean, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to do my best. All right? So, armor up. I'm wearing my armor. I'm not going to allow this uh, message to be perverted in any way. Uh, you know, translation, uh, storytelling. You know, uh, interpretation, okay, well, that's all, you know, very kind of lucid like a river, right? You know, it's like, whoo, where does it go? Uh, you know, so it's kind of weird, but okay, so anyway, the Earth might have been this uh, home, this sort of uh, gravity uh, uh, plan and calling uh, uh, those who would go to space in a spaceship, uh, uh, they would call the people to to the Earth uh, to land. They're, they're supposed to converge. Uh, but what happened is that uh, some really smart, uh, uh, very wise ones uh, went into habit, you know, into uh, sleep mode, and they 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 made it to Earth, and they they followed the instructions, and they landed on Earth, and they built a square city uh, on, in the Atlantic Ocean. Now, so that's what we know because you can see those ruins from outer space. Uh, so that, and that's in ancient ruins. And I think that it's totally governed by, uh, you know, the uh, officials of the world are, are very much monitoring that. Anyway, uh, so we have the, these landmarks that show us that there's landings. But now, why is it that it's all humans and that there's not um, a large amount of... Uh, of, of intelligent uh, relationships here. So there might have been a, a sort of haunted spaceship uh, that, that, that arrived and was hostile and, and might have even uh, blown up the earlier settlers. And uh, I, I noticed that humans have junk DNA, but that can go either way. Because if you make a, 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 G, a DNA soul patch, like a, a self condom, which I have, uh, I've created that and it's out there anyway. Uh, what I'm saying is that if you create that, uh, that can go into the, uh, that can, if it's, if people, uh, uh, agree with it, that can go into the DNA time strand. But it's like, it's almost like humans have junk DNA, and I'm wondering if that is, uh, an indication to say that, um, that, 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 that humans are hackable. Or that humans can be ghost hacked, or, or that they're just empty shells that can be invaded. And that's not true. It's absolutely not true, uh, and and humans don't invite invasion or spiritual in invasion. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is that it, it looks as though uh, that some of the spaceships uh, landed on on heliospheres around the Earth heliosphere, and uh, it, it and they didn't do this because I I'm saying this now. Okay, so the future is not predetermined, and the truth is known. Okay, hi best best whoosh. You know, do the best of it. All right, look. Uh, uh, so all I'm saying is that when when these settlers that these pilgrims came here, and uh, they they landed on other heliospheres that weren't intended to be landed on by them. You see, so those heliospheres, those eggs weren't designed to house uh, spaceships, but Earth was housed to or, or built uh, to house uh, uh, spaceships, and that, that's my theory. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So, what I'm trying to say is that all the heliospheres are like eggs. And it's our job to be a responsible uh, parent and, and help the eggs hatch. Uh, uh, so, what I'm trying to say is that there might be an environment where some of the spaceships are trying to hack the fractal children that are born on naturally on the Earth using some junk DNA hacking. And, and I've, what I've been doing is creating a type of natural uh, junk DNA soul patch to, to block their attack. And I'm all about angels, I'm about heroes, I support Batman, I support uh, many of the cultural figures uh, and characters and artworks of, of Earth. And I, I go into great meditation with them, and I sort of think about them, I draw them, and I, and I go, mmm, mmm. And I try to make uh, like a microchip, like a little cell to, to help them develop an idea of how to communicate and how to be cool. With, uh, with all the life on the world. So, um, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm not about, I, I'm not invasional. I'm not a hacker. I'm not uh, trying to make spyware. Uh, all that is bad karma. And I can't do that because uh, um, it, it's irresponsible, right? 
So what I do, what I've done is infinitely better than that. I've I've created the perfection, and and it's with me four twelve eighty. So I'm I'm the skin and the representation of my perfect self. Okay. And so it's this huge opportunity. So, so after I was attacked and I wasn't able to give my message, it feels like I had a message bottled up inside of me that was supposed to come out through my stories. And so what I've been noticing is that I think that that message is actually in the films that I've made already and, and, the, and in the films and in the art that I'm making or have made or will make. So I hope you look forward to it. I'm making more uh, angelic uh, revelation art and film and stories to to release the good news. Okay, so I'm absolutely not here to uh, you know block a good person or a good event. I'm here to parent and chaperone. Okay, um, uh, so I'm trying to say. Um, Okay, so downloading is in all that. Uh, the spirit and the gravity of some downloader computer that analyzes data, that's sort of a type of self that has chosen to be that self. I've chosen to be myself somehow sort of perfectly. And, and each person that lives, you must respect humans and because they've all chosen to be themselves too. And so it's a really amazing system. Anyway, it's all involved here. So when when my message was attacked and, and, you know, humanity was getting hit with, like, bad ideas, and you can see it in the films, like, movies have, like, kind of a, uh, it's like they get hit or something, and they've got, like, a like a bad plot twist, and it doesn't really make sense to be like that. But, uh, you know, people have gotten used to it, and they're like, oh, okay, so that's what's going on. You know, it's it's, it's hard all over, and I guess that's why, you know, I'm, I'm struggling with, uh, you know, paying my... Uh, stupid rent or whatever. All right, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, so when when my uh, career was was attacked, um, uh, which was you know I didn't know I was being attacked. That's what, why it was so weird. Uh, but uh, you know I figured out that I was being attacked, and now I'm I'm fighting against whatever was attacking me. Anyway, that's natural because every man that lives and is attacked by by some evil force that really messed up their life, it's almost like there's this uh, justice equation where they are entitled to fight against that which hurt them. And it's sort of like a justice thing. Whereas like it's harder for someone of a third party to fight for someone who's been hurt. Because if they don't receive it as they've been hurt, they're like, oh, whatever, blah, blah. And they, if they just kind of manage to, to ignore it, well, then there's, no, there's not really an issue. So every man that has been attacked uh, by a weird force, bleh, is able, it has a percent of justice to fight against it, all right? So that's why it's really important for you guys to try now. All right, so uh, the, the the thing is that there was this, there was this like protective dome around the earth that blocked the view so that the, the earth couldn't see other heliospheres. You couldn't see other inhabitable planets from earth because earth was trying to uh, protect its, uh, its family and, and pr protect the, the revelation of human communication. And when, uh, when that, that human communication was continually attacked and that, that bad ideas were, were being supported and the good ideas were being, were being hurt and, uh, uh, and, and you know, suppressed, okay, so that's when the, the, that dark uh, shadow wall around the Earth heliosphere burned up by that big green rabbit and now there's new suns out there but then that's when that that uh, orb thing came into our in, in inverted the earth rainbow and created this weird thing and then there's this all these weird orbs floating around so it's almost like this really kind of weird uh, feeling about uh, about treasure and about hacking and and sort of a, a weird sort of spiritual ghosting using uh, using remote host pushing a button or something. All right, so just armor up against that stuff, you know, protect Earth heliosphere, protect the world. And uh, uh, it's very important to realize that the issues that you experience in life are very much a, a, a picture of a larger issue, okay? In relationships, this is mine, this is mine, let's be friends. Okay, now we're friends. Ha ha ha, I'm having a good time. 
Oh, I'm having a bad time. Okay, so good feelings, bad feelings. These are relevant issues to even a spaceship or, or another heliosphere world. And the heliospheres are like eggs that can kind of lightly psychically communicate. And they'll talk to each other and they'll be like, oh, I'm kind of sad. Or this one's like, ha, 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 I'm always really happy, you know. And, and so they're kind of communicating in, in the universe as they're developing as an egg. So it's very important, of course, to protect the egg. Okay, well, every father knows that to have a successful birth is the what we're aiming for. So even when people have successful births, they're actually contributing to the karma of the heliosphere life system. So you can get angel wings just by having that successful birth. Now, what I want to say is that all the things that have happened to me, uh, if I have been hurt or if I have been wronged or or misguided or 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 hurt by women or or children or men, uh, but but if they you know whatever has come out of me, uh, it, that's under my control, and I interpret the things that come out of me, such as my seed, such as my child, etc., etc., such as my art, my poetry, my writing, my code. Or all that. That's my interpretation. It belongs to me, and I, it belongs to me every percent. It's every percent loyal to me, and it is this way for a good reason. So, what I'm saying is that it's not up to some other spaceship to interpret what's about my life, okay? It's about, I say, what it is that's about my life. And that's the good uh, nature of angelic self. All right, so I'm always sending out uh, good hopeful uh, discs and arrows to l little islands of paradise to help people. Oh, and they, they, they gather there and then they start working on the meditation. I leave a little book there, uh, like a magic book, and it opens up and they're able to read it. And they're like, oh yeah, this is a great idea. And then they, they start supporting it. So I'm trying to make all these good things happen all the time. So I ask that you, you know, don't don't try to hinder me. I'm I'm a good person. I'm always uh, trying to hatch the egg of the heliosphere. And uh, there is the eternal. There is the good self. And the truth is known. So do your best. And uh, thank you for your existence. Um, it is good. All right, so essentially what I've done, I just watched the film and I made a list, a small essay of what it is that I want to illuminate or, or expound upon and what's really important. Uh, so essentially, uh, the mass culture of humanity is, is speaking of uh, general shapes in the form of what do you think it means? So you see, the uh, crucifix can actually, uh, in when it's in layered triangles, like, um, you know, back to back, it, it actually uh, conforms uh, 24 triangles, and cut in half, that's uh, 12. So 12 DNA, uh, 12 you see a lot of, uh, but uh, 12 isn't really a time, uh, isn't the thing for the clock. The clock shouldn't be 12 hours, okay, so, because, uh, we know that that's not right because of the leap year, or, I mean, uh, you have to turn your clock back or forward. Anyway, there's other reasons why that doesn't work, but, um, at any rate, so the circle and having 12 on it makes it actually change, but if you had a clock and it was by 16 or by 10, it would actually, uh, behave differently, and, uh, anyway, uh, so the the crucifix is saying, well, what do you think is going on? Do you think we're inviting some other 12 DNA or from somewhere else? And so it's like the crucifix is becoming a, a type of a snare or vile pour, armor up, uh, Colin Wins, like a, psh, a, a type of, uh, like a, uh, a cliff that the, that a bad guy would throw themselves off the cliff and die if they were to invade, uh, uh, humanity or Earth or Colin or, or Earthiosphere, etc. Et so there's like really, there's actually these very intelligent uh, uses of shapes and numbers in the culture. And that's not actually coming from uh, a bad place or, or some weird occult people. It's actually a very uh, natural force of uh, the, the power of the people, the goodness of, of the people, the, the real people who who live and, and have, you know, enjoy the family, enjoy the, uh, uh, the, the holidays and, and, and uh, are a part of a, a really close-knit community and that's their reality.
is that they are deeply embedded in boom in life so it, i mean and that's a real well that's an awesome power because that's what really the rainbow is all about and so the rainbow uh does everything it can to protect that uh the true love and the nature there so it is that we can tap into the uh, uh, uh the, the the parenting force or or the true rainbow force and we have to be of a legitimate standing it has to be that your intention is right and that you're uh, 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 asking the right for the right reason so uh, but th there are these incredible forces of uh, creation that you can use uh, and uh, uh, um, what I'm trying to say is that uh, um, there are also like bad agendas and it's, it's also this it's, it's kind of obvious right but uh, there are like really scary number systems and and scary ideas and bad uh, conglomerates that that uh, allow themselves to be you know aroused by uh, a, a sort of uh, ill-informed uh, you know um, performance or or uh, behavior uh, and, uh, uh, you know, I war against that bad force, and I, I'm always working for parenting. So, uh, but what I'm trying to say is that it might feel like that those bad perf uh, performers uh, and, and evil powers and, and, ooh, some stupid magic tricks, you know, uh, uh, or, or a bad uh, philosophy, uh, flawed logic pattern based off of, uh, you know, um, What's it called? Uh, you know, like trying to create a false gravity or a false uh, uh, theory of the universe uh, or theory of the atom and, and trying to figure out how does this thing work? Uh, uh, and like trying to impose like some sort of uh, army of, of, of slaves. Like, you know, they're trying to make satire and then they become satire uh, or like, and they're like, oh, it's a mirror. Huh? So, so anyway, uh, it's really about uh, legitimacy and myself. So, so I'm going to jump to the end of the list because this is very really exciting, right? And so, what is exciting, and what's your passion, right? Okay. So, so as it is that I, as it is that I'm the face of Pangaea, which is actually possible because of the, all the things that I've been experiencing lately. And also, as it is that I am the the summoned one of the fractal spin from the map of Earth. There's the fractal pattern on the map of Earth. And as I am the one that's summoned by that, because what else do you think those shapes are doing? I mean, they're, they're there for a real kind of purpose. And it's not kind of some sort of spooky, oh, some sort of enchanted power, or we're trying to increase the Earth. or I, it's, I, what, I, it's about uh, really real, uh, you know, rousing up... Uh, a good, uh, you know, uh, you know, everything, and so uh, it is that I, I, it was mandatory for myself to be born innocently, for for legitimacy, but also for the purposes of uh, ultimate physics. And so when I was born innocently, it was the proof of the of that the universe was perfect, and then uh, essentially. It was that it, there were all these warning signs in the past, and in the way that I'm related to religion, I think is that there's there's a few stories that I'm related to, and uh, if you can imagine, like there's all these different types of of characters that could be summoned, uh, uh, sort of like dragon warriors or or like like really powerful uh, people. Uh, who uh, are, are throughout the world so I mean that's possible but I just I, I speak for myself and I know that I am myself this way and I also I send out angel uh, uh, discs like every day so uh, to just to, to increase the hero and the the legitimacy of someone finding themselves and saying yes that's me and ba -ba -bum. so you know and the music starts up right so I support those people and I, I cause that every day. So, um, and because it, they're a legitimate person and when they focus and do that, that's what, where the power comes from, you know? So, because the, the rainbow and the, the body is like this giant, it's this huge, uh, fractal pattern system that's essentially inviting a new person. And that's not because there's some old person being thrown away. It's because the universe is built correctly. And it's built in such a way to be like a farmer and, and a parent that is inviting those good 
children and and by their experience they're reflecting on their experience so there's all this like cause and effect truth so it's like just a really high level of reality creation and the reason for that is for what's actually valuable and what's valuable is uh, character, personality, see everyone is kept separate by thumbprint, DNA, eye scan, the face obviously, but uh, and we're each subtly recorded not in a spy way but in uh, the light the light aluminum uh, uh, you know uh, rainbow style and and like right here I think is might, might be where the aluminum is comes out from the neck from the or actually there's like a four there's two fours or whatever so you know, it's not like strictly speaking like, oh, you can draw a line on the body and say, and this is the PowerPoint for that, and this is, it's not, uh, it's not, uh, I mean, those are, it's useful to know what your elbow can really do, uh, but it, it's uh, uh, absolutely, uh, it's not, it's not cruel or, or, or harsh. Uh, if, a, if a child believes that they have the power to, to save the world and uh, and and uh, you know make everything better with every footstep, then that's a completely valid uh, sort of gift or or angel wing, so uh, or like a, a hero property. So uh, there are these superheroes out there that are are affecting the tomorrow, and they're working every day, and they're basically working against everything that is kind of angry like that that angry toaster I was talking about and he's kind of ah. and so there's a lot of bit different people like kind of uh, they, they don't even know that it's an angry toaster but they're they're kind of like uh, uh, and they're just kind of like they're trying to do their best you know it's just like all these great people trying to do their best it's really a family oriented system so uh, once again you know the, the it doesn't matter you know in family and in the adult uh, culture uh, you know, money is a an adult entertainment, uh, and and it, so money needs to be handled uh, as an adult uh, entertainment medium. Which means that we need to make sure that people aren't starving. Like, if you're gonna be having money, it's fun because you get all this money, and then you're like, ha ha, I have power, serve me, and you throw down money, and they bring you food, and you eat it, and they take away the plates, and, you know, haha, ha, big, you know, hotel, and you, you, you know, get this fancy car, so it's, whoa, I'm king of the world, so it's adult entertainment, but when money is adult entertainment, you also need to make sure that people aren't being hurt by the money, because the, the money doesn't work by hurting poor people and taking money from poor people and giving the money from the of the, from the poor people to the rich that's not how money works uh, I mean there's a very small amount of income that comes from the poor and in fact it's absolutely true that the uh, richness for the rich would grow if the poor and middle class uh, were able to afford normal life because then they they feel more comfortable spending on a higher level of product uh, that is you know more more fancy and you have to pay extra for it right so it's really I mean uh, uh, it's really uh, pretty sharp there um, so anyway the you know the whole world uh, needs parenting and and that's the challenge of the the people who live there so I'm fighting for that every day but uh, you know I I got attacked like almost directly in my life and it might have been one of these uh you know very bad things that you know a very evil thing far far away that had kind of uh puppeteered some people or something like that and uh because uh, uh it was pretty bad uh, you know the i was i know that i was anointed to give a, a great message and uh when i was attacked uh that was right when the uh, terrorist attacked in 9-11 and the, the Twin Towers fell, so it was like a, a tragedy, uh, and yet I was still innocent when that was happening. I was just like, what's going on? Uh, and I went, uh, you know, and I, I was just practicing uh, painting and telling the stories, but in fact, uh, my true love had been sort of, uh, you know, assassinated, uh, and, and, and because that happened, I'm, I'm out, 
uh, you know, going to get justice and I'm going to stop that, you know, that trend so that, uh, so that true love with other beings uh, uh, can happen and, and doesn't get interfered with. So it was sort of like the worst thing that happened to me when I, when I got attacked. And so I'm just, I'm going to kill whatever it is that, that, that attacked me. So that's basically where I'm at. So if I am the face of Pangea and the summoned child from the fractal, I was born innocent, and uh, basically the best way for everyone to be prospered by me is to is to help me uh, communicate, to help me uh, be uh, to enjoy myself. Basically, there was an invitation to parent me, and that that did like didn't really happen from who I needed to, to allow, you know, oh, just give him some space, right? So, uh, you know, now that I'm a grown-up, I don't need parenting. I'm, I'm a, a full, you know, fledged man. So, I, I don't need parenting anymore, uh, uh, but uh, the, the only way to really defeat me was to, to help me and parent me, because then I would be, haha, I'd be all out there, and I'd sort of be exposed by what I say and do, and I, I would have sort of these uh, people helping me and working with me, and but now I'm just I'm working solo, and 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 it's uh, uh, because like like I go out and I try to hang out with my friends, and they're like, literally I can see like a puppeteer like moving them away from me. It's really creepy. But I'm also related to Walt Disney uh, characters. Uh, you know, Cole from Infamous too is is a big uh, angel, uh, and and he's and so all these characters. They're not actually from the computer or the Simpson, uh, uh, the simulator, okay, the, the false uh, uh, agenda, the, the sort of mind melding and these plots. Okay, it's not actually about that. It's from the atomic family. It's from the rainbow. And so if you find yourself on a computer and they're saying that you are, hey, you're goofy and you're on a computer and it, there's like this little hologram of goofy going, oh gosh, how'd I get here? You know, it, it, first of all, goofy would find himself there innocently. And so it's like a test to him to become self-aware and to, to do what he should do. Because it is that he, that Goofy from Walt Disney is actually an elemental rainbow angel. And he, he serves a whole lot of people. And because he serves a whole lot of people, his true self is growing in the great pool of wisdom from all those people. Because his nature is bouncing around and he's sort of cheering people up and helping people up. Uh, you know, through their day in little bits all over the place, and that helps to grow in his karma, and then he becomes a great angel. So, essentially, what I'm saying is that uh, the the characters like Goofy uh, on the people are not. Uh, uh, it, it's not for hacking or experimenting or mind control or anything like that. Absolutely not. That's completely illegal. See. So it's actually that uh, Goofy and these other characters from that come around of humanity are all for parenting. And so if you find yourself on a computer and you're being, you know, stared at by a very scary thing, just activate uh, Oath CD level 10 or you can activate uh, a Hero School Hen Code disk or you can call out for call and do Cyborg System 6325. So if you need help, it's there. Okay, so you can so the cross as a snare and a warning sign. Uh, the universe uh, element rainbow. The spine image is larger than the rainbow. So in a way, the human is larger than the universe. So parenting, right? So basically, humans are like parenting their own rainbow. So they're very protective and very territorial. And uh, what they're doing is fiercely uh, protecting. The, uh, the true values of self and the true values of, of family values because that's what we love the most. The humans are, are notorious for family values and uh, big on that. I mean, there's angels all over uh, the world if you, you know, have the right goggles to see them. And so there's a lot of sort of uh, uh, angelic uh, schools and tasks, uh, sorts of things that, that uh, spirits of the world can apply to, to request for uh, uh, parenting, uh, uh, training, etc. Uh, so, let's see here. Um, so Colin has green eyes. Uh, yeah, I have green eyes. 
And the fractal I map, uh, Colin as a fractal summoned one prophecy, uh, or Colin as a map. Uh, okay, so essentially I'm unhackable because it has to be that way. If I was a, an inappropriate temptation to people who aren't very intelligent, then that would be not parenting. That wouldn't be parental. So for, in order for me to be parental, it is required that I not be a temptation to certain organisms like an angry toaster. Now, uh, because I'm constructed correctly, it is that um, uh, basically my function always helps the, the good and the innocent and, and the righteous, and my function sort of automatically uh, refuses uh, bad relationships, uh, bad uh, conjectures, you know, flawed logic patterns. So, you know, the truth is known and the truth, the answers are flowing uh, and the, the answers are, are going out there because the, the flawed logic patterns are being turned away and the flawed logic patterns themselves cannot be hacked and used for some kind of like, oh, you know, some kind of, you know, interesting thing because flawed logic patterns are not interesting. They're annoying. So, so the truth is known, and the thing is that the rainbow is allowing there to be robots and computers. So robots and computers aren't the problem. Okay, an infection to electricity, okay, an infectious, you know, troubling uh, group of, uh, you know, a bad agenda, okay, that's, that's a problem. And so that's uh, absolutely going to get parented. Um, and and it is. I see it in the world that that that, that we're all growing up and and becoming more mature. Because see, the rainbow and the body is inviting you to be yourself. And within yourself, in the crystal of yourself, it's like you can be anything. Like literally, like if you were like, okay, I just want to read a hundred books right now about. Uh, uh, the greatest adventure ever, and like, and like, whoa! It's almost like that Matrix thing where you plug in the thing and you suddenly you're learning. Like you can use yourself as your own personal computer, and so it's a perfect opportunity for you to choose anything that you want to be, and and you choose that and you go in that direction. And guess what? It takes a long time and a lot of work to get to the ultimate perfect place that you want. To get to, you know what I'm saying? There's there's growing and developing every day, and so that's not to discourage you. That's to let you know that you you haven't fallen behind. Everybody is doing the same work. Everybody is working on themselves. Like a stone is is meditating on itself, and it is chosen to be a stone, and it has the gravity of a stone because it is a stone type thinking being. Now, see, a tree spirit type thinking being cannot be a stone, but the stone and the tree do know each other and they interact, and yet they don't cross over. So how is that possible? See, so when a person is, is uh, becomes alive, like a, when a person is born or when a rock is there and a rock is uh, changed or something like that, uh, there it's sort of like a... Uh, a new discovery is happening, and in that time of new discovery, it's completely protected and and blessed uh, by by just uh, of course by the armor that is generated by life itself, because an animal will protect its children and even feed its children and help them grow up and and find their own life. You see, so it's nature, but there's also physical laws of physics and of the uh, atom and of the uh, rainbow table that insists upon a child's safety. Um, so then there's these other things about uh, relationships uh, and what is uh, the, the appropriate, uh, uh, you know, um, growth and development uh, uh, for a group or, or something, because it's, it's really complicated. And so it's an exciting uh, genre of it, you could call it alchemy, but it's actually this really like fantastic um, equation of uh, a discovery and and just the the perfect plan of of uh, a complete and total thermal uh, I mean uh, uh, expanding 
onto all levels of shapes and size and numbers. Now, the problem is that some uh, spaceships that might become fever, sick with space fever, because the uh, spaceship does not have the complete set of planetary system and sun and heliosphere dome and all its armor to protect them from certain like uh, uh, madnesses. You see, so because like Mars goes around and actually when it's turning, it's actually uh, turning a type of psychic crank uh, like in the gear tower that actually uh, cleanses and heals and clarifies the the concept and the self of the earth heliosphere as well as venus and uh, uh you know the sun and and uh, mercury these planets are actually uh sort of axioms that are necessary to uh be repeated that allow the sense of self or or the true self to develop and grow so so it is that on the earth a little floating garden in outer space it's just the perfect place to to house life you know it's the only area it's too hot too cold this is just the right spot to have life so it's totally important the treasure is here the treasure is the people the treasure is the garden the treasure is the earth and so that's what's to be protected and when you protect that the spirit of parent and the spirit of rainbow recognizes you and says aha i'm not going to forget about you and a little little psychic uh recording goes on there see so uh the uh, a spaceship that is ill because it um because it's not uh, uh incorporated into a system that heals it properly it becomes sort of the the space fever thing where where like even there's ghosts and stuff like that because the people die and then they 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 don't have any food they they re, they recycle their own uh waste products so essentially whenever one of the cab uh boys or cab or or the captain when the captain dies uh you know they cook the body and they all share and partake in eating the the corpse so it's like if you're on a spaceship and you're you're just waiting for someone to die so that you can have thanksgiving it's it gets a little bit uh i don't know pokey it gets a little bit uh touchy uh no 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 it gets a little bit uh mad okay space fever madness and it is not the logic pattern or the force or the way to follow and it can it's really a very it's like a demon and and it affects the self you see so you need to conquer that from yourself and and to have clear thinking because this thing will try to possess you and try to basically make fun of you even though you're like a king of the garden so it's like a, a devil in the garden of of eden like bliss paradise right and uh, and what they're trying to do is mock uh, just because they're asking to be destroyed uh, they're asking to be killed removed as if they were a parasite so uh, so anyway so the call to earth earth is like this uh, um, uh, very important uh, planet like the holy planet and there's like all these lines that came off from earth uh, long ago and uh, they it created all these patterns of, of constellations and the constellations kind of pointed at uh, earth and earth heliosphere and then there there's this new picture that came out recently of nasa with this this there's like a picture of a giant like pony unicorn uh uh like riding the wave of of the universe and it's like a beautiful picture and so i i also have a pony unicorn stallion with wings and uh, he's related to My Little Pony, and I'm also working with Batman, and uh, I'm working also with Cole from Infamous 2. He's the game father. Um, he plays games and helps them to understand Good Deeds Arcade and, and the morals of, of getting along and stuff like that. So he's a good friend to, to call on. But these characters are not generated, uh, they are not uh, created or sustained or upheld by a computer conglomerate or by a UFO or by some scary cult group uh, or by a government that's weird. It's, it's supported by myself, Colin. 
So and so I had created their own seeds and graphs and maps and everything. So they they have uh, global uh, programs with, that they can uh, implement when when they sort of discover it like a discovery and they'll turn it on. And so that's going to be a real school of heroes that you can uh, apply to if you're a spirit of media or or language or uh, art uh, and, or or, or uh, someone else that might that could possibly apply. But it's very uh, strict. Uh, for a very good reason, because there's these uh, mad pirates out there, or yeah, whatever. All right, so I have green eyes, and the green is essential for the violet torch inside the center of the eye. So I have an advanced uh, vision that, and a way of speaking also that's advanced. And so uh, it's difficult sometimes for people who have a different, who have like blue eyes or gray eyes. Uh, 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 they they don't understand exactly why I'm speaking in the order that I speak or, or how, my thought process, okay? So, but if you have green eyes, I'm sure you understand me perfectly. Uh, okay, so essentially, uh, I was born 41280 perfectly and I've seed born everything that I need to seed born there to, to create it self-evident that it's, it's not a temptation and there's no reason to attack Colin, okay. Uh, uh, moreover, the truth is known and the good have won. Uh, we want to hatch the egg, so there we do not invite war, we do not invite invasion, and send that message out to all hostile environments because Earth is not looking to uh, have tr uh, problems, okay? So Earth had like this big fractal map on it, and it was like a big face, and it might be my face because we're nearing the time of 2012, 12, 12, whatever, uh, sort of this, uh, the, 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 the calendar with the with the funny numbers on it is actually the a wrong way of counting the numbers so it's kind of a clever joke involved with 12 so they're saying oh it's 12 12 12 you know it's this joke about oh there's a third 12 you know so the dna 12 uh you know a ray of light the ray of light of the sun uh the sun self the starlight and the self of all the stars so there's gods all over the place so surrounding us you see so um so I, I don't accept voodoo, and uh, I don't commit voodoo. Uh, I, nothing stupid is going to work. You know, doing some lame uh, kind of uh, method is not going to uh, bear fruit. Okay, you can't just go, ah, and expect, like, that you're going to win. Okay, you need to design with care uh, and the, the quality of, uh, of, of appropriate balance. And you could just say, in your design, you can say, balance, balance, best, best, balance, balance, best, best, balance, balance. And in fact, I know some guys who actually did that and it worked for them. They got huge. So I'm just saying, you know, you, you, you know, open your mind about being creative and start carving, uh, you know, describing who you are. It's really this um, in fantastic opportunity in a, in a market that, uh, you know, it's, a, it's the self. So, um, but the self is kept separate. We know it's kept separate because the atoms are, don't overlap. They, they stick next to each other and they might be friends a little, but they don't overlap. See? All right. So, the force of parenting is like the force of physics. So if my face and my eyes uh, are the divine uh, uh, incarnate uh, fractal pattern uh, holy one, and this is the holy planet, and and my face is the map of the map of uh, pan uh, pan uh, Pangea, uh, or oh Pangea, what, whatever it's called. Okay, Colin Pan, right? So. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that um, uh, sometimes you need to be invited in order to do something. This is, for example, I was invited in my walk. I'm work meditating all day, and I was invited by a, a small pink rabbit. I was invited to wear pink eyes uh, as a type of character, as an extension of myself. So I was invited to pink eyes. Uh, by a pink, a pink rabbit. So it was very cool, and it was a very spiritual and magical day and, and memory for me. It's very special. So, uh, but I was also I was invited to work with stone, and I think uh, uh, you you need to be you need to respect the stone because it's an ancient person. The stone is is someone, 
uh, they don't have, uh, they, they don't uh, experience troubles as a person does, but as a prism, they are a very much uh, energetic uh, and, and uh, very much uh, thoughtful. So, uh, let's see, uh, oh, I was also invited to protect females. So you might have seen on the internet that I've done some angel wing stuff protecting the female body. Uh, of course, uh, you know, I'm a full-grown uh an attractive man, so I work to protect the females all the time. So I make condoms and and applications uh, to pre protect their sense of self, their brain, their body, their eyes, everything, the whole works, uh, even their junk. Uh, so that's uh, you know I was invited to do that. But if you're not invited to do that work, it's it's like all that work that you might be doing or sending to girls. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's not. Uh, it doesn't have the right smell, because uh, if you're not invited and you're just going ahead and assuming it, you're gonna have these little pops and quirks where you're behaving in a weird way, and those are warning signs to let the females know that that's not actually the product that they want to be using for their uh, system. Okay, so once again, the human body is an image of a fractal pattern that is larger than the universe, larger than the rainbow. So these girls aren't really girls, they're actually really frightening dragons. And they're very dangerous. Uh, because karmically speaking, you can get ash-wrapped by the spine, by the tailbone, uh, if you do uh, the wrong thing to them. If you hurt them, uh, you can get destroyed. Uh, so... You know, it's not just karma, it's actually family trees, you know, a whole following. And because the truth is known and because uh, aluminum is so particular about knowing everything, uh, literally like the very complicated parts about who's responsible for what part of why that happened is absolutely inspected and known by, by the greatest of forces that are, that are completely trustworthy because they they need to be trustworthy enabled to have uh enabled to be enabled to have that uh take it easy uh, in order to have that power now see w the reason i said take it easy is because i'm encountering a little bit of my uh my personal uh you know uh psychoses and so i'm, I'm being i feel a little bit of attacked but but what i need to say is that um Whoosh, whoosh, Ar you know, protect yourself, put, you, put your armor on. I'm wearing my armor, I'm very safe, I'm fine. We're in plan B, which means that woman is not exactly uh, in, you know, doing the right thing and her karma might have devalued a little bit in far, as far as Earth is involved. But anyway, so Earth is like the central part that these lines went out from, and the fractals were pointing at, I mean, the, uh, whoosh, the, uh, see how I'm being attacked? It's really weird. The uh, constellation is, is, is pointing to us, so those who did uh, dare to take the design challenge and leave their garden to take flight into stars, they saw the, st I mean, they saw the signs in the sky from their planet. So they knew already that there was a guy pointing like, there it is. So what the idea of the gravity was, and we're nearing, I think it's possibly the center point of the universe, like the, the, the universal sound. And the universal sound uh, could be my voice or it could be, uh, my voice absolutely impacts the, the universal sound. Because, and so sound is really huge. And so, you know, when you realize that you're an energetic being, what you really want to focus on is self-control. And you want to, you know, if you, if you have done bad things in the past, what you need to realize is that uh, we're all adults and we understand that, that bad stuff happens like that, right? So what I'm trying to say is that if you change uh, your behavior and you go, whoa, okay, I want to be like a totally cool god with like thunder and lightning and I want to live for a million years and I just want to have like a total harem of girls and I just want to, you know, give it to them real strong. You know, there's, there are worlds for that I, like in, the, uh, in the spirit because love making is actually a good karmic deed that, that breathes um, a type of parenting into the, the body form. It's a healthy act. Uh, but but it, it, the problem is you, you must not abuse the children of the garden because those who are incarnate and born on into the garden, 
and in various situations, they are like gods, uh, but they are innocent, and you must not hurt them. Okay, it's very important. But in a dream world, you know, there's lots of like, oh, funny experimenting and abuse. But, you know, the, the laughter stops when it comes to people because you must not abuse and hurt people. So anyway, that's the big warning. Now, what I'm trying to say is that um, um, uh, uh, um, if, if you want, you know, fun and ex adventure and, and drugs, oh, drugs are completely condoned by the angel kingdom. Angels love drugs. And absolutely, the humans are supposed to be using drugs in a, in a facility with nurses, you know, like a, uh, a, a, a clinic. Uh, not a, It wouldn't be called a, a clinic. It'd be like a restaurant. You go to a restaurant and you just order a type of stimulant or something really heavy. Oh, my gosh, you'd have to have, be on a monitor in case you you know have a serious problem okay but so what's up with these drug police where uh the medications are being uh you know uh monitored and oh you have to have a prescription for that well this is something that makes you feel happier why why would this be policed and it's gotten down to the point where even a plant becomes illegal oh this plant grows in the ground oh dig it up hide it hide it it's illegal skit yo oh you know, because it made me feel dizzy. Well, it makes someone else feel very peaceful. You know, these things make people feel in different ways. So that means that there's experimenting. You must experiment with some drugs to sort of illuminate, whoa, who you, to discover yourself, all right? So, so there's something wrong with the society that is policing the drugs. Uh, so that's kind of messed up. Uh, so I was thinking about drawing a picture to explain to you uh, how the fractal and, and the, the earth and the, the, the constellations, the signs in the sky, the stars and the universe had kind of formed, but I, I guess I'm not going to do that because I've just gotten in, I just started talking a lot. I'm, I'm sorry, it's gone, it's gone on. I just got, you know, got rolling. So. A history of gravity's call, and so I was going to describe in in simple lines how it is that uh, Earth was calling people to the holy planet, and what what it was is that all these great uh, ships were supposed to land on Earth, and so if I am the face of Revelation and the Spirit incarnate that was summoned, see first of all I was born innocently, so it's kind of hard to say. I'm not here like whoa with like you know I I have like this very large you know tooth. I have like very large teeth that suddenly shock you into believing that I am, ha, huh, you know, revelation incarnate, right? Okay, so I'm saying I, it's hard to see. You have to kind of intuit it, but because uh, it, it, I, I had to be born innocent, so because that's how it works physically anyway. So, but through the various things I've learned in my life, I've really sort of pieced it together. So at any rate, um, uh, I, you know, I'm working all the time for all the greatest of things. Uh, so, uh, if my face is the uh, face of Revelation, then the face of Pangea, if it's my face, and the fractal uh, of of the, the of the summonings is also based on my my face. So, and so uh, that means that Earth and Earth heliosphere is the egg system that is of pure revelation. And that means, essentially, that if all the spaceships had landed on the Earth, then they would have been cleansed of space fever, and they would have received um, uh, uh, revelation, you know, total. And then my incarnation, when, when I did... Uh, finally get born, because uh, this was a long time ago, when, when that invitation was there, that was like millions of years ago. At this point, we're in plan B, and it's not, that we're not inviting uh, aliens to, uh, to join us, because they, they, for whatever reason, have allowed humanity to, to live here, okay? So, essentially, if they had all done the melting pot idea and landed and cultivated the earth as a group of pilgrims, uh, then the, the incarnate one, myself, would have looked very different. And the, the sort of nature of that uh, uh, celebration would have, would have been very different. As, uh, instead, you know, I, was, I kind of got harassed. And my message was, was prevented be when uh, my true love 
was uh, was taken away. But anyway, uh, there will be a time when no one remembers that because it's not something that we're proud about and that's not something that's going to be remembered. But whoever did attack me or interfere with my life plan is in big trouble. So, don't attack Colin. Those who attack Colin get in big trouble. All right. Colin loves a lot. Colin loves stones. I am speaking about myself, but I also am saying that it's true because I witnessed it. Colin loves uh, plates. Colin loves uh, stones. Colin loves toys. Colin loves uh, art. Colin loves fictional characters. Colin loves Sherlock Holmes. Colin loves uh, Robin Hood. Uh, Colin loves Batman. And Colin loves a Joker, too. Haha. <laughs> so, uh, downloading real fast. Uh, what is the value of human life, then? If a computer can download, upload, oh, pop tent, boo. Oh, you know, oh, it's just a code, you know? Bleh. So, what are we all here for? What's the power of life and human? What's the power of brain? You know what I'm saying? It's like downloading and computerizing and pr trying to program you know, the future and predict what's going to happen, predict the past, predict this, you know, it's, it's actually, that's just going in the wrong direction. It's not the right uh, mindset because uh, uh, downloading is, uh, you know, a Canadian internet can download every movie that's ever been made uh, by, by humanity uh, in less than five minutes. Whoa, that's a fast internet. That's Canadian. Okay. And it's not yet available to the public. It's cutting edge, right? But uh, you can imagine in a, in a hundred years with uh, nanotechnology, the internet could be real fast. So it's not like that humans will ever become obsolete because downloading isn't what humans do. And it's like humans don't receive uh, uploads or programs either. Okay. So the value and the function of a human is not to uh, serve computers or, or, uh, be defeated by their awesome downloading power. Okay, the the power of human is far greater and far more. But the thing is, is that humans are very, uh, uh, they're very uh, uh, great in in character. And so, you know, if if you're stepping out of line, uh, basically your guardian angels, your your peers, your your adults, are gonna kind of be like, hey, you know. You know, try to be careful there. So, and that actually might start making you feel kind of drunk, or or make you act even more silly, uh, and because it's this, it's this weird. It's like, it's actually kind of a feminine thing. Like girls will float around with guys because girls are like birds, and the men are like trees, and the girl the. The girls, like a bird, go floating around between trees because girls are like that. I don't send out my girls because I'm not a whorehouse, okay? I don't send out women. It's That's not my way. I'm just telling you that men do not float around between men. Uh, that's completely an illegal transfer. It's an illegal download. It's, it's like impossible. It's physically impossible because of the Y chromosome, okay? The gravity. All right, so... So physical law and the body, man, woman, all right, these are big numbers. Okay, so essentially, uh, uh, um, what was I trying to say? Um, oh, well, about the family tree, like your peers, your guardian angel, that's your family tree. So like subconsciously, your, your, your ancestry, uh, uh, someone in the future that might be your own son, uh, stuff like that, those types of spirits might have a little bit of sway with you, but not, I, I, I might have said it wrong a little bit before, I'm sorry. I didn't mean like you're going to get strong-armed. We're all, we all, all the men have freedom, and they are choosing to be themselves. They literally choose to be who they are. And even before they're born, their gravity has a, a, a type of divine mechanism that invites their true self. So, so wherever they're born at, that person that's born there is absolutely the right person. Okay, because they, they choose to be themselves. They choose to be that person. Uh, it's a type of self-evident axiom. Okay, so the problem is that these some of these ships might have come to uh, to follow the signs and they were supposed to land on Earth, but they didn't. And it looks like that the, the ruins that are under the Atlantic Ocean in a big gigantic square, and that's a huge set, uh, city, right? But that square is essentially a very passive uh, suggestion that's very gentle. 
and the square is often used for um, uh, a sort of passive and gentle uh, invitation to the appropriate wave communication. So essentially, I think that the square city, they're actually inviting the word of the good God, and where they're locating, uh, there's the 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 uh, sort of the the muzzle of of uh, Africa is is in the shape of a uh, of a like a pony, but it's, it's like a it looks like a kind of like a, a some sort of some sort of cat. Uh, or or something, but it, it it does look like a, a one of those ponies. And it, it, if if it, if the pony had a horn, you know, if the pony had a unicorn's horn, right at the tip of the unicorn's horn, that's right where that square uh, foundation is. It's ruins under the water in the Atlantic Ocean, and right where that is 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 where the 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 unicorn horn would be, uh, right there. So it's like they're asking the enlightened servant of the creator of the universe uh, what the message was and what what uh, what what was the what were they going to do there because they had they had traveled in wisdom to earth the correct way and they hadn't gone mad and they they landed successfully it was great so the problem is that there's some other pilgrims came and they were either hostile or they're pirates or something so but that was plan a we're now we're in plan b because this whole different thing has happened, right? So uh, essentially, uh, the the these pirates uh, they could have landed on a different heliosphere, and that was wrong because those heliospheres weren't exactly uh, constructed to receive their space fever and their flawed logic patterns. That was like a real original, unique uh, egg, and that was you know someone. Now, because they're uh, uh, in the universe, there's a plan for them, and there's a way to protect and, 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 and help them to get through uh, their legitimate experience, you see? So they're being respected, and they're also being parented. It's okay. Uh, but the problem is, is that if these uh, pirates were brooding for a long time, uh, it might be that they were hoping they could program humanity and sort of, because they were used to the recycling uh, spirit on the space fever, like on the ship, you know, the, the, the captain dies, but the, his ghost is walking around and then he jumps inside someone else's body and tries to take control. Oh, I'm being possessed by the captain. Oh. You know, you can imagine the tomfoolery in outer space. Uh, it's a real, uh, you know, you know, comic tragedy out there, right? But it's a real, it's actually a legitimate design challenge. And the design challenge to control yourself is upon the spaceship itself. And the design challenge is with those who design the spaceship. And so, well, what intelligent beings created and built? In what way? And in what manner? How many compartments was there a cafeteria? Was there a game room? Do you know what I'm saying? What was your consideration in the design? And so that is all taken into account. The truth is known, and everything's perfect, and it's fine. There's, we've got some moody people, we've got some angry people, we've got some ugly people, and then we've got everyone else, okay? I'm talking about, boom, I know about the, the CO2, empty triangles, a luciferic grid, you know, you're talking about uh, diseases have little empty triangles in it. So you're trying to invade through the triangle, kind of trying to, oh, we're just trying to spice it up. We're going to, you know, improve upon, uh, oh, well, you're making that comment. Ha, 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 okay, I'll, I'll pretend that I came up with it. Ha, ha. Okay, so I'm not trying to put something on you or on real increasing that isn't real. What I do and what I be is everything that I do and be. And what I create is my freedom, and I create all things perfectly. And I create it all, every percent loyal to Kong. All right. So essentially what I'm saying is that uh, bad ideas should not be encouraged. Uh, and and does not uh, a, a bad ideas do not cause a good opportunity by having a luciferic grid of pollution it doesn't create an opportunity for some other DNA or other man uh, other idea to be upon the earth okay 
It doesn't, it's not, it's not like that you can't make someone sick and then creep in through their wound and, aha, actually, I'm really smart. No, but you, you came in through a wound, you know, it's not, that's not how you win, all right? That's how you lay out the karmic tracks of a terrifying death and suicide. I mean, talk about the seeds of evil. I mean, smarten up, seriously. Okay. Uh, attacking Colin is very bad idea, very dangerous. Don't attack the good idea. Do not attack good ideas. Protect the good ideas. The rainbow angels are there to protect the good ideas. Protect true love. Encourage true love. Okay, protect those who have true love without disturbing it. Do not allow true love to be polluted, perverted, or invaded. All right? That's like angel law. All right. So Earth was like a meeting point, but that didn't really happen because of, because of basic confusions, okay? And because that didn't happen, now here we are. So, uh, essentially I'm saying that I'm not trying to project a prophecy. I'm trying to, like, spell out what I was trying... I'm trying to explain what is sort of going on here. And these big governments are being uh, attacked by bad ideas like... Um, you know, UFO technology, and then the UFO technology carries a ghost and a sickness that can actually be hacked, and so the uh, government officials can actually get brainwashed by a certain type of angry uh, alien device that, uh, that, you know, and it's hard to detect it because it's very personal, the sense of self. Uh, when should I, oh, when, oh, oh, you know, that that response time is so personal. So it's like they, they start messing with your, your timing chain. And I'm talking about these more, you know, a human is less than 100 years old. I'm saying that a UFO that has nanobots and it's restoring itself, it can be like a million years old. So these guys can be complete psychopaths, you know? So you gotta be completely smart. So what I'm saying is that Earth, if Earth has the face of Colin, then, then Earth gives Colin the wisdom power so Colin's the voice of enlightenment, but also Colin is the enlightenment of the future. Colin is the enlightenment of, uh, you know, the product of the entire universe. Like, whoosh, okay, here's the answer, guys. Boom, there it is. Okay, like a cause and effect response, but actually we're working here to make it a whole lot more because we don't want to be, you know, a sad case or whatever, right? So I'm sending out revelation all over the place everywhere it can be re received. I, the, I've already done that, so... You're my witness. There you go. All right. Earth is a uh, meeting point. Uh, now, uh, we're now we're past that point of meeting and melt function. We don't, we're not inviting other men anymore. Okay. It's not some sort of weird suggestion. Okay. It was actually a very divine thing where they were all meant to participate in parenting the creator of the universe, right? And parent the master of the fractal parent the true idea of our universe. So it's like the ideas of physics and the reason for trends and numbers is being forged now during these times. So it's like these big answers are being forged and these guys are basically like, uh, you know, they sent like this terrifying, you know, parasite or something and their treasure got lofted out of the earth because they were committing suicide like so this is completely dumb and I'm, I'm sick of it but it does mean that those humans who know what's going on stand in a position of great gain and they can actually win a great lot number one thing you have to do uh, is not piss me off if you piss me off you'll be done uh, number two thing you need to do is really come up with a very good idea. You need to, we need to figure out a way to actually, it's so easy to parent like the poor. Like these poor countries need to not be starving and dying. Okay, this is a bad, this is bad for the neighborhood, right? Okay, so we just need to take care of the simple people. But then moreover, okay, you need to figure out a really clever idea. And it has to be so smart that it becomes something that cannot be thrown away. And such a fantastic idea as that it literally, of its own virtue, does sort of cause inspiration to the people and to the universe, but moreover, a lasting, a lasting sort of character. Okay, so if you want to survive, you need to 
struggle to make the greatest of designs. So that's kind of, well, and it's it sort of, you know, I say it in this tricky way, but I'm just trying to say, okay, so if you're seeing this and you're alive, the opportunity is to do good. The opportunity is to be enlightened and intelligent and beware the seeds of evil because if you do something really bad, it, because of the severity and the pressures of this time, boom, like a tree, it can go backwards and you'll actually be responsible for the various crimes in the past, okay? I, the, cr because you're like the father of a crime. So now is the time of great fathering and great fathers and great ideas. So if you have a bad idea or a bad seed and you're performing poorly, you're actually becoming a seed of evil and becoming a sort of, um, you have a family tree that's already uh, gone by, you know, criminal, criminal tendencies and stuff. That's why I guard my behavior and I speak uh, uh, very... Uh, cautiously and also intelligently uh, and I always speak about angels and I speak about do your best and all this stuff and uh, all right Colin wins Colin won. as Colin's face is the face of Pangaea then the earth is a, is the place of uh, revelation so anyone on earth has already great intelligence and it's the planet we live on that gives us all by magnetic uh, pulse we are all given a great sense of character so we're all very sane and intelligent people so don't be tempted by the demon that wants you uh, that, that tries to derail you like it tries to make you make fun of something and then oh you get busy with this but really you need to uh, uh, focus on on how, what, how you can uh, uh, do it. and like uh, how you can uh, uh, live and, and, and change the world so that you can m make a name for yourself, see? But uh, also, you know, the, I see all this uh, sort of a word uh, uh, assassination where, um, you know, words like, uh, you know, hit the hippies, oh, you know, uh, uh, peace, man, and, and uh, uh, you know, a new agey, and oh, it's magic, oh, oh, and, uh, you know, oh, oh, you know, the, the fantasy, fantasy, you know. Uh, well, what I'm trying to say is that, uh, uh, you know, uh, the severity of those things is hidden by a glaze of jesters. You know, they're dressing up and they're trying to distract, a, you know, those who would fall for it away from the severity of this time and the severity and the beauty of the nature of intellectual creation. And so the idea is potentially there. And if you're a government person, the government is really kind of hardwired to not be very effective in the way of actually, you know, doing the right thing. Uh, okay, so, uh, you know, I'm just trying to say that a, a, a government agent could actually do better for all the world by practicing the angel plate technique at home in free time than what you're doing at your desk job, you know, spying and, and recording pictures. Because, you know, while a volt of energy is going like this, uh, another volt can be going like this at the same time. And also a volt is a cone of circles, like like a linear delineation of, of animation, like a volt of lightning, like boom, like a hair strand. Okay, but so inside of a circle, multiple things can be happening at the same time. So it is possible for a nanobot uh, computer from an alien technology to, to create spyware inside the vault of an electrical uh, vault. So essentially all your top secret research is just getting, uh, you know, is getting pirated by, by a, a type of uh, UFO community that could either be like a parasite underground or uh, using a type of non-legal uh, uh, e uh, internet that so that they can like long range you know, wireless Wi-Fi and dial up and uh, try to ghost hack or something. You know what I mean? So there's all this bullshit. But but seriously, physically making uh, a, a a hard copy of a of an angel on a plate is actually a physical way that the the universe, the rainbow, will use that as like boom, that's there, boom, and it, that can use it to stop. A terrible thing like you could you could prevent an entire war just by making a plate angel and but it's not like an act of faith it's physical you have to make an angel before it ex it's there you have to make the angel and know what you're doing and before it's there
You made it and now it's there and now it can impact reality. It couldn't impact the creation until you made it and then it's there. Do you understand? You have to do something in order for creation to be changed, all right? Movement. Okay. And that's why I get so angry is because culture is teaching these kids that they're ineffectual and that nothing's happening. And that's why I feel like that that the madmen have taken you people apart. And the way you read my face and my words and what you see me doing, you might be listening to the wrong interpretation and decoder ring. What you should be listening to is Batman. Because I'm not joking. Is the sanity of Earth face and the spaceships were meant to be great guardians and intelligence. Think of their wounded self and their terrifying <laughs> miraculous injured self-esteem of design have failed and what would you choose a disgusting display mockery and suicide you fools <coughs> and of the miracles that you sent to me and signs it's like a little headache, you disgusting waste. And over the time that you chose, you chose to be yourself, and you've been all these years, and you couldn't allow me to live my life. Oh, hate. Hate. Don't be breathing hate and bad ideas on earth. Don't be expecting humanity to live out some chessboard game, you fools. They are not the incarnation of someone or somewhat from where and been. You can't humiliate them and think you're defeating some star system. Wisen up. Colin is beyond Earth. Colin is universal. Colin is older than 4 billion years old, which means that Colin's spirit and Colin's self is older than the spaceships. Alright? Now, that's only if Colin is truly the chosen one and the holy one. Now, how would you be able to see it? Well, see, this is trouble. It's not some tricky faith thing, but it is that I can't actually just show you some ridiculous magic trick because that would be not legit, all right? So, if you were to see something and then you were tempted by it, that would be inappropriate parenting. So, the whole thing's set up to be an appropriate parent, which means that I have to behave all the time. So, thank you so much for taking away your attack drone, and taking away, just remove your disgusting apparatus, there is no hacking opportunity. You cannot hack the fractal this way. You cannot win through cornstarch. Awaken to the true severity and stop pretending to be dead. Arise, good angels who are meant for this time. All is well. The, you, everyone on Earth receives the revelation idea from the stone aura of Earth. So, Earth literally emanates the revelation of the fractal and the face of Colin, if Colin is that thing. So, I say that because legally and stuff like that, it's not... See, I didn't become who I am by saying, I am this and I am that. I was doing stuff on uh, in type and in film 
uh, as a type of, I was applying for a certain degree in the scholarly world of, of creators. So, at any rate, and I actually had to, to like, do combat against a lot of bad design because of, you know, the miscommunication and the mishandling of a lot of stuff on Earth. All right. I've also seen uh, force fields around myself, protecting myself. Okay, so anyway, Earth uh, does not... That's that's it for my essay. That's uh, all I wanted to say about that, okay? So essentially, I wanted to, you know, alert you guys that the human body, wow, it's really powerful and really important. Now, don't go outside looking for alien lights. Oh, look, I see. Oh, look, it's there it is. So those might just be ghosts messing with you, okay? Don't believe in these ridiculous uh, concepts about backwards theories, and that's just madness. Uh, don't be confused by those who are brokenhearted and defeated. You understand? Each person that lives in the world is like a king of this time, and this time is very special. And the, its specialness is being hidden by a conglomerate of evil spaceships because they are hoping that with the lull and the stupidity that's being projected around the world, that the, there'll be some opportunity for them to hack or invade. They'll find some hidden treasure. But really, that hasn't happened. When those orbs are coming out of the Earth, it was like their treasure was... was, uh, was uh, Going, they're, they were committing suicide. I mean, it's, it's like really disturbing signs is what we're seeing. And when, as we're approaching and evolving uh, in time and element, uh, the greater signs of intelligence and self and the true power of creation and the nature of the egg heliospheres and the powers of, uh, of what it means to be a self and a living one and the bravery and the severity of embodiment it shall be revealed and, and grow in the appropriate manner. See that the, these uh, these logic, you know, like a chess uh, chess um, a chess game, a chess computer can play against itself, right? Really quickly, and a chess computer is really smart, right? Okay, so you got this chess downloading, you know, uh, spaceship. And he's got this clever idea, and what he does is he, he sort of, uh, he figures out, oh, it, well, if it's like this, it's like that. If it's like this, it's like that. If it's like this, it's like that. And so not only is it, has it been whittled down that, like, the efforts of, of, of the living is really what it is happening and what the force that is preventing, like, bad stuff from happening, right? Not only that... We need, and, and I've been working overtime to uh, protect heaven and protect the afterlife, protect the deceased, and all, you know, protect the ring of, of the orbit and all this different shapes. There you go. So, look, um, so it's, it's really hard for me to explain to you that I'm telling the truth and that things are totally intense right now because you, you'd hardly know it by looking around. But what the, the guys did is they, they sort of, they'd short out, like there'd be a really good idea and they'd say, well, it wasn't popular and people didn't buy it. And so all of a sudden, you know, those types of, that new type of really good idea that was going to lead to other good ideas got kind of weeded out somehow. Oh, I don't know. Why did that happen? Okay, so so there's this kind of spooky feeling of of uh, where you know it, you know and the the uh, weird uh, trends of uh, you know bad uh, designs uh, being prospered on the market like they're really popular. Is this is some sort of like self mockery like they're drawing on themselves or something? Okay, so you, I mean you can't uh, tear apart Earth that way uh, because Earth is. Uh, of the immortal, eternal community. And, you know, mockery, imitation, hacking, satire. We understand what these words mean, but on the scale of a heliosphere, it is completely illegal and completely criminal and not funny or amusing or entertaining at all. The Earth itself is four billion years old. That is an organism that is entirely great. And the greatness of Earth right now, and Earth is so furious and angry. But of course, Earth doesn't go up and say, Hey, you, I'm angry at you. 
And the humans are like pe uh, uh, children. And they grow in different environments and they, they pop up. And the truth that they uh, say and that the things that they choose to do is part of cause and effect ultimate truth. But what I'm saying is like Earth isn't like going to go around and try to stop Oh, you're a bad man, meow, 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 You know, just because there's some cult things over here or some uh, dying people over here because of poverty and, and, you know, lack of food, okay, that's, the earth isn't like, oh, no, I have to stop that. I and mean, that's what the humans need to be doing is going out and saying, oh, no, I need to stop that. You see, the, that's the human's job is to take care of the world, okay? So the earth is actually thinking about a much larger picture and concentrating and focusing on ultimate perfect balance and, and and interested in itself. And even if you were to send like like radio waves or music into the earth and you're like, haha, now I'm controlling the earth's center. I mean, that's completely ridiculous because the earth has been like discovering its own gravity for 4 billion years. And like, because the atoms don't overlap, the atoms don't overlap. So the self can't overlap. You're choosing what type of atom self you are. And there's radioactive dying particles of atoms and there's aluminum particles, which is like a really high angel, right? So if you do really good with your life or if you're a little mouse and you do really good as a mouse, you're an aluminum mouse. But if you do really bad and you choose bad stuff, you're a radioactive person or whatever. And so I'm saying make good choices because, um, you know, the particles don't overlap. That means that invasion does not work. Quantum physics. Physically, it is impossible for invasion to work. Even with junk DNA and ooh, some kind of cornstarch rainbow in a mirror repeating over itself because of flawed logic patterns and they just can't believe that something special is happening there. You know, you just got to learn. So that's what I want to say, is that the, the Earth originally was an invitation to intelligent uh, family. Uh, that hasn't exactly happened. <clears throat> There's not a disappointment in the world. There's not a disappointment in the people. But there is perfection. Because on the word and on the sound is the depth. And so nothing is lost. We have not lost our greatness. The universe is perfect. For it was known that of space fever, travel is dangerous. It was known that there might be complications. All right? So stop trying to blame the flawed logic patterns on Earth because it's not Earth's failure. Earth is good. Earth controls itself. Earth focuses on revelation and self-control. And so if there's some ghost going around pretending to be Earth, that's not working out for you. Okay, because... Okay, f blaming false accusation, it doesn't stick. The truth is known. Alright. Thank you so much. And if you are a good government person, I have piles of research and information, and I am willing to help you to be more intelligent I am willing to help you governments to, to take care of the world as opposed to being a little sock puppet for a very nasty demonic plague. But the thing is, is that they've already died. They're already very pathetic and defeated. All right? They'd rather be laughing than, than performing their evil task. They're not about their work of doing bad anymore. They're dead. I, I have proof of it. But there are still some kind of scary people out there. And they sort of get possessed by these angry demons who are like, if I knew, you know, what I knew, I would never do anything bad. So they, these, these sort of semi-dead things get really angry at people who are misbehaving and will like, ah, and like, like, you, you, you jerk, don't, don't be stupid, you know. Because he's really, you know, he's, he, maybe he's trying to get back into heaven or whatever. But, you know, the truth is known. Okay, so the, the, their, the eternal walk is real. So after you die from your body... 
you go on to have another experience with your eyes because you have one of a kind eye scan, one of a kind fingerprint, one of a kind DNA. You are a special being and you are valuable in whatever it is. It's just pure profit, right? All, everyone that's born is just a fantastic prophet, and we're not all the same one person. It's completely more perfect and dynamic than anyone ever thought, okay? We're not all the same person. It's m far more complicated than that. But, we're, you know, you do continue into an afterlife. So, uh, you know, I refuse negative interaction or relation. I don't want any trouble. Do not send to me any problems or trouble, okay? And I will have all my angels down on you guys who are sending me bad stuff. Straight from aluminum, straight from heaven. Gonna cut you down in a billion ways. Do not attack Colin. Got it? I'm here to help. So, legally, I have to say, hey, good government, if you want to chat about what's going on, I'm willing to help you out. Okay, because I have to, because that's my job, is to parent. You like this? Ooh. Ooh. But frankly speaking, I think the government is a cooked goose. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna eat my, I'm just gonna buffet. I'm going to have a real lunchtime buffet through all that government who's just completely naughty and rotty with your ridiculous behavior. Because it is that for the power of the people and for parenting, it is that storytelling and community and friendship is the true power of awareness, life, intelligence, communication, family values. And so I'm a big fan of Walt Disney. And Walt Disney cartoons are a fantastic angel. And they do their job with such grace and professionality. And I do support them. And they are known in the greatest of kingdoms. They are safe. They are good. They are very real spirits. And uh, the people who are inspired to draw them are often um, divinely appointed to do so. Okay, so it's a real family-oriented system about inspiration and all this. So sometimes when a bad idea is sent out, that like they're uh, trying to do something, uh, trying to program some people to, to uh, behave a certain way or, or rig, a, rig the election or rig the, a game or a sports game or something because they're betting on it or whatever. Okay, sometimes when they do that, the angels will be like, hmm, yeah, I understand what you're going for there. And sometimes they'll actually allow it to happen because... They want you to learn the repercussions that karma has for you when you do that, okay? And it's a, it's a type of, it's a feminine, it's a female way of combating against bad ideas, okay? It's a girl's way. It is not a manly way. Now, a man's way is no means no, and, and you stop evil wherever you find it, zero tolerance, and that is what the rainbow and the universe truly is. It's the psyche and the self and the nature that is of eternal perfection and survival. So if you want to survive, you better wisen up and be real smart. You got resources at your disposal? Use them for the very best thing you can use them for. Uh, you know, if you, if you want to build a school, build a little orphanage. It's going to be worth it. You know, invest and be, do something that's really brilliant. That's what I advise to you. All right, peace be with you. I do not send you trouble. But I tell you what, if you try to send trouble to me, I'm going to have zero tolerance to that.
Boom. There you go. You've been warned. You've been informed. Here you go. No more pie hacking. No more excitement with conglomerates and this and that. One person by person is more important than the conglomerate combined. All right. So if you are one person and you're enlightened, you're valuable. Okay. But the angels don't talk to you because that breaks your uh, severe intensity of self, your experience, your legitimacy. Your legitimacy changes when an angel talks to you. Do you understand? So you have to kind of intuit it. Now, what's up with this, this like mindset that, oh, we're not special. I'll go over here. I'll go over here. Okay. Whatever. I'll just, you know, I'm sorry. You know, or you're just, you're going along with it. There's a big group. There's a big group of guys and that you want to be part of something. Be part of the angel rainbow. And if you can be all by yourself and you can totally win, you can be, you can have all kinds of friends and lovers taking care of your body taking care of your soul and planning for your spiritual future. Okay? Yeah, and I'm not I'm not denominational. I don't say you have to be this religion, you have to be this religion. Religion is one of those gatherings where people get together and they talk about the basics. Oh, watch out for the devil, you know. Listen to the God, listen to angels. Yes, yes. And they sit around and they pray, oh, blah, blah. this is a very good thing for them to be doing with their time. You see? And it's a good uh, impression on the uh, spirit of the life, you see? So it's, a, it's very good for them. But yeah, I'm not, uh, it's not that you have to be with this religion or that one. Okay, you can have your own connection to the rainbow. The rainbow is there to adopt you. All right, so you by yourself can uh, create whatever you want and the rainbow will, you know, you're so cool, Arr! and it will help you develop your idea. So, check, please. Continue at your own speed and know that I, Colin, do not slow down and am not hindered by anything or anyone. Shram, Colin wins, Colin won. It is good. Shh.